bitch found me a way to eat up What's a favor for a favor if we all didn't make it Kept it a hundred with everybody but they just Yeah. Yeah, what's going on? Hear the hunger in my voice, they used to tell me to speak up The problem was of what I was saying, they couldn't keep up Instead of moving around with some patience, they tried to speed up It got colder than a bitter bitch, found me a way to heat up What's a favor for a favor if we all didn't make it? Kept it a hundred with everybody, but they just gonna change I ain't get caught up in the hype, cause I ain't feel like I made it Couldn't picture me here now, but here's your moment to frame it. And I ain't never understand that self entitlement spirit I felt a vibe, I don't wanna get near it Before I made the appearance, I took a second, took a look in the mirror This guy lost the only thing that I fear, y'all got me fucked up It's all passion, it's tradition, it ain't fashion It's no action, they make threats and it's still passing I think massive, no response, that's still tact Y'all should quit rapping, cheap shots, I'm cinematic I ain't average, I'm an overthrow fanatic How I go, you lose and win like asthmatic I got first, that's automatic I'm the best in my division, in the ghetto like the pigeons In the hood like the engine, you a bird for that chicken I don't fake split decisions, cause my mind made up, nigga We in the end of time, but my time ain't up, nigga I was young and running wild and wide-eyed like a cabbage patch I had to get it, it's vivid, adapted to my habitat It's certain shit I won't do, certain shit you can't prove My shit sound like a payday, yours like more when the rent I a dollar for every dime you counted, I would be broke Watch it be close, got a better chance, boxing a go And they know I'm raw, and they know the spot And I'm feeling lost, still in charge I don't make a follow, I follow the law Standing tall like they hear on Mars I just got a call from my bro, he behind the wall he told me let it off Niggas lying for some cat, I got a different line in me Everybody intimidated, I got that guy, me. You get focused on them dimes, I'd rather keep my nine with me Help me get this off the ground, just know you won't fly with me now Nigga, I'm trying to make the news I ain't playing by the rules, I've been trying to play it cool But that ain't gonna be the best of y'all out here looking like fool Home yeah. and truth, I ain't never had to choose I'm trying to get beamed up, man, y'all trying to make the news I ain't playing by the rules, I've been trying to play it cool But that ain't gonna pay the bill, y'all out here looking like fool Home of the truth, y'all ain't never have to choose Tryna get beat up, man, y'all tryna make the news I ain't playing by the rules, I've been tryna play it cool But that ain't gon' pay the bill, y'all out here looking like fool Home of the truth, y'all ain't never have to choose Tryna get beat up What everyone knows, the white man's the devil is known. America was never our home. Only a place of captivity, safe facility, hating, disfigure me. They claim that I'm lazy, be killing me. Maybe this slavery draining my energy. 400 years and counting, the trail of my tears is countless. May fact that I'm here is astounding, but I can't wait till this shit is surrounded. Ready to tangle my king and the angel, be ready to rap. Crack in the sky, nuclear missiles and make it official. I'm capturing every crack and surviving. Put them all in chains where they need to be, slavery for me. And let the whole world see that with them in the cages, safer in the streets. Put the dog on a leash. 
Get resolved for the beast. 144, get the ruler show, we could all be at peace. As soon as the trumpets are sound, your kingdom, we busting it down. The only way justice is found, the time for your judgment is now. Tsunami, I went from zero to 100, feeling like Ricky Bobby. Ah, ah, I made a deal with the 
bitches Now she got a BBL, her ass fatter Trying to show up all them niggas that laughed at her Now when they see her, they only wanna fuck her They just wanna touch her, they don't wanna cuff her They just wanna come and kick it with her like a punter Turned her to a runner, now it's all aboard the train Fenty on her face, but it's not concealing the pain, it's a shame That's why I'm in the hood like some rap snacks I know niggas kill you and your mama for a scat pack Dark tech, mad black, they do it for half that Hey, you like 90s, Missy in a fucking trash bag I'm from Philly, we don't do bank accounts, just cash app I spit a verse and I just watch the time slow This that guy flow, this that shit that rappers die for This that uncut Taha Wall straight from Pablo Escobar, I be at the bar like Moscato They think it's effort, but no, this that block work Make the countermeasures, take pleasures, making a hot hurt Light is in the sky, cause every verse is a concert My mind work at speed, y'all can't fathom Listen to the words of a champion The kid, the streets need another anthem I just hope this shit go right Living in the dark, you don't know like Gotta go my hog in my bow time Waiting on the swab in my whole life Y'all, he'll be on camera with us. All right, all right. This is the Rise 1969. All right, every Sunday around the 5 30, 5 o'clock hour, sometime around there, we, we went live. We're trying to get it right. All right, I got with me straight out of Montreal, Precinct Officer 1000 out of yard. Right, I got hey, with me on, out of Montreal as well. No sweat, no sweat. Shalom, shalom, everybody. You understand? To all the brothers, you understand? Shalom, y'all. By Shemir Shabakatam. To all the sisters, y'all. Shamarata. By Shemir Shayan. You already know, man. You understand? I'm Officer 1000 out of the yard. You understand? With the IHBK. You understand? Out of Montreal. You understand? You already know what we do, man. You understand? We teach the truth of, of the Bible, man. We are the home of the of the truth. Let's get it. Right. Right. Out of Montreal, also, I got Precinct Officer 500, Barack Yala. What's going on, Barack? Hey, it's a lot in Christ. Oh, yeah, oh Barack, you, we on that TikTok. I need you, you need to get in this live right quick on TikTok. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm just trying something on TikTok to see, you know, I'm just experimenting something. If anything, I'm just, well, you see what I'm trying to do anyways. One second. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what you're trying to do, but you need to get in here because when I'm not talking, if Adiyar is not talking, it's dead space on TikTok. We can't have that. Yeah, so, come on, come on. I, I, can't even hear, I can't even hear you because you understand? I gotta, I gotta mute the the, the stream yard, so you understand? I can't even hear you on stream yard. Yeah, give me one second. Won't be too long. Oh, we got we got the warrior. He sounded he sounded like he having a good time over there. <laughs> nah, he trying to get the he trying to get the camera, man. I'm trying to charge he my camera. camera. <laughs> he, wants <a> camera. <laughs> he want to be at camp, man in the camera. That's what he want. He want to be at camp, man in the camera. <laughs> All right, so we got a we got a good show. We're waiting for Barack to get in this TikTok. He's gonna be doing that sooner or later. Right, but we got a definitely got a good show, right? It's uh damn if you're watching us on TikTok, you're not gonna hear the video content that I got. Maybe hmm, I'm gonna figure yeah, it out. We'll Just maybe I'll be able to provide the video content that I got for TikTok, right? I think I think I should be able to do it, but I'm gonna figure it out for TikTok. Is China Mac racist? Right, that's the that's the title yeah. of the TikTok. We got we got alpha two alphas, an alpha male and an alpha female in a relationship, and maniac Edomites going crazy in Montreal. Right, I think what what do you guys want to open with? I think we should open up with uh, what's going on in your zone. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, you want to get in the center, take it away? One second. Khan, I don't want Khan. Let me see if I can open up the article. Am I on? Yeah, Khan, Khan, we can hear you. 
Okay, most most likely. Your camera's not up, but but you, you it's a lot, it's a lot. If I may, uh, you ain't you you didn't introduce you on TikTok, man. Good night. <laughs> you already know this is Brock Yala, episode five hundred. I am the host doing the most. Damn right. Understand? I was trying to fix my background. Some reason TikTok won't let me. Yeah, see, so, you so, doing so, all that other stuff, Salaki. Salaki, 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 I got to get this. I got to get this. I got to get this. Somebody in the comment, y'all saying like, uh, some eater might, you know I'm saying like, I ain't even going to say the name. Say, twerk for me, boy. Nah, we, we're not Pause. that type of amigo, man. You understand? You, you're going to work for us. You understand? You're going to work for us, and we're going to beat the shit out of you. So like it, TikTok. Oh, so like you understand? We're gonna we're gonna whip the nice. skin off your back. We're gonna make your back turn into bacon. You understand? Because, you, you understand? <laughs> we pick up cotton. You understand? That's what you're about to do, man. That's the future, man. You understand? Don't get me started over here, man. You understand? TikTok, you know, man. Yeah. What you kind of fishy business is that? You understand? But right. you understand? That them either might, you understand? It might be FBI. It might be even, you understand? Be like the purple, purple, purple police gang. You understand? But I'm not gonna let that pass. You understand? They're gonna, they're gonna have you understand? You understand? And I'm gonna take a short, uh, short screen of that. You understand? I'm gonna take a short screen of that and see. You understand what they, what they think of us? What they think of us is like black people. You understand? Should just dance for them. And there's a, there's a, there's something. You understand? Like not to go out of subject. And before you go into the subject, there's, a, there's a, a, a video that I have from friends where they, they were saying, well, you know what? We make black people just want to dance. Black people, when you see them make music and dance, it's for us. It's for our pleasure. That's what they were saying in France. You understand? Meanwhile, you never Good, gonna no. see rise up, take, take, talk about politics, think about, you understand, like, you, you, you understand, like, things that affect humanity. You understand? All we give them is to dance. Just like that them devil just say, or whatever, you, whoever it is. You understand? Just make music, dance, you understand? Make make, make some for us so we can, you understand, we can entertain ourselves. That's what, what was going on in France, you understand? And I, I got the video, you understand? I sent it to officers about uh, Burkali, you pretty soon. You understand? If I could find it uh, amongst all my video. But that's what they were saying in French. You understand? We're not going to twerk for you, man. You understand? But we're going to tell you, you, you are the devil the Bible speak of, though. You understand? Damn right. Good night. You understand? Bro, kind of... you, you might have to jump out of the TikTok that came because I don't know why you're not in the stream. I see myself in the stream. Uh, uh yeah, I, I, I see I see him on the on the, on the TikTok. Really? Yeah, come. On, I see him on the TikTok. Wait, what the hell? I can't see him. Okay, let me jump out. I'm jump back in. Yeah, come, on, come. On. I'm not understanding what's going on. Well, we got, we definitely got a good story for you, right? Can Coming out of Montreal. Hell? Let me invite Barack up. It says you joined, but I cannot see you. Invite. The lightning of the most eye is up in the building. Good night. TikTok is not. All right, Brock, we got you. You just got to turn your camera right. on now. Yeah. Kawakas, oh, like it. it won't let me choose my background for some reason. This is plain. Yeah, see, so you just got to let that thing rock out. You, it looks like you're yeah, in Rome somewhere. It's, it's, been, been, doing been, doing that, it's been doing that to me. It's been doing that to me. It's been playing like, with my face. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> What's going it's been, on? Today, <laughs> it's been doing that to me, man. <laughs> Good night. All right, well, I don't know, man. You ain't in the stadium, so let's get on with this show, bro. <laughs> hey. Hey, All right, y'all can y'all can hit us with that Montreal story, Bubba Kasha. Right? Give me one second. Um, I'm pulling out the article just now because this is God. crazy. And, and before God. before Officer Barakella goes, right? You understand? We're gonna have our podcast in French as well. You understand? We're gonna you understand? We're gonna you understand? Debate on the date. You understand on the hour, you understand where y'all could join in and call right. them in French. You understand? We're gonna have that for you, you understand in, in French in I speak in Quebec. You understand? Pretty soon you're gonna have that live, you understand, every week. You understand? So let's get ready for that. You understand? For all you understand that speak French, I don't speak English. You understand? We're gonna have that for you, you understand, in French. I speak in Quebec with the podcast, you understand. 
Uh, also, Barakella and I will we'll find out the name, you understand, of the call the podcast, but pretty much it's going to be just a translation of what we have right now. But we're oh, going to have that in French as well, all right? Hey, Salaki, I just want to say this. We have a officer of 5,000 big Levite priests. Yat the yeah, Zara up in the right. building, inshallah, my one Lord of Christ. Saka Fets again, la Saka Ali. Matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? If, if Officer Yat the Zara is to wab, you know what I'm saying? We could invite him in, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, probably, yeah right. you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I speak at AT as well. God, I'm trying to figure out how we send this invite. One second. In the meantime, you know, I'm just going to say this. You understand? Blamana say job. You understand? Your press is the goddamn devil the Bible speaks of. And we're going to show it to you right away how he is a. They're just a despicable race in the first place. You understand? They are despicable people. And with the story we're going to bring out about what happened in Montreal uh, yesterday morning, you're going to see what we're talking You're going to understand better what we're talking about, right? They don't even have compassion to their, uh, among their own people. You understand? I have an article right there, right? It's from CTV News Montreal. It says, teen in Rosemont killings charged with second degree uh, unaliving. So like I have to say this for TikTok, right? Of parents and grandmother. You understand? And that is a horrible story. I mean, tragedies happens all over the world, but... You don't really hear about anything like this in our community, per se. It's not that common in our community, you understand? But in their community, I mean, that's not the first time you hear about something like that, right? Yeah. Where um, whether it's a male or a female, unalive, you know, their whole family members, the whole family, you know, they they went under they went under the under the knife. They tasted his blade, you understand? They ate the lead to the head. Salakia. TikTok needs to stop playing with my face. What's going on? All right. So, so what are you saying? This, this, this devil, he bugged out and 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 unalived his whole family. That's what's going on. Basically, like, I don't want. Adiar, what's in the water over there? Like, well, they must be eating that dirty carp. Salakia. Good night. Uh, uh, you understand? You understand? Whatever might be in the water, please. But also, Barakella just put it straight up. You understand? The the oppressors, the damn devil, the Bible speaker. Right. Of. Understand? And what we're seeing right now is exactly what they used to do back in the days. You understand? When you go in my history, you see exactly, you understand, the, ch the child was, you understand, used to, you understand, unalive the father, you understand, just to get on the throne. Right, right. The child used to kill Good the night, mother, you understand, for whatever reason, you understand. The child, you understand, used to kill the uh, son, you know, unalive his own brother or sister, you understand, know, just for you understand, know, just start right there. just for you understand know, that 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 what you might call it, you understand, know, like where when 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 the parents die and they they leave something the inheritance. inheritance inheritance so like that's water I can you know, understand just for the inheritance you understand know, and we seeing that today as well you understand know, so I don't we don't know exactly you understand know, why that child you understand know, but just unalive his own family but you understand know, supposedly. He had like uh, mental problems and everything. So what they're gonna hmm. try to pin in, pin in on is the fact that that child had mental problem, and that's one thing. Like you know, saying, just like we seen uh, recently, you know, saying with the bus driver, you understand know, that the Asian bus driver that just on the live, you understand, know, like two kids, you understand, know, they ran into a nurse, you understand, know, the yeah. a day daycare center, you understand. Know, right. On a, on, a, on a live, you understand, two children, you understand, and injured others. You understand, after the, afterwards, it was like, well, you know what? He's not fit to stay in, you understand, trial. Good night. I want to I want to see the night. same justice for us. It's a lucky out of one. I want to see the same judgment for us. I want to see the same judgment for us. Meanwhile, when we go to court, there's never an, an exemption where we don't Stand fit for trial, Negro. You better, <laughs> you understand? Well, I, you understand? I hear voices in my head, and you understand? I, I'm, I have like multiple people in my head. You better pick one, cause you you going to jail tonight. One of you going to jail tonight. You They're all going to jail. It's like that for exactly all of y'all going to jail. Pick one, represent yourself. All of y'all going to jail tonight. It's always like that for us. 
but you understand, like with the, the you understand, with this evil empire, you understand, with what we're suffering in, it's always like, you know, and we're gonna see this more often as well, like especially in Canada, because they don't want to say, like, you know, like you understand, know they are evil country, you understand, they are evil nation, and not only that. They don't want to use exactly, you understand, where the fact that people are killing other people, what is the cause? They know what the cause is, but they don't want to use that because if they use that, it's going to give us credit, Akim. It's going to right. say what we're saying is right. You understand? They're not going to use that, but they're going to use like, well, you know what? He had mental problems. He was in hearing voices. He had like, you understand, know different personalities. He was a woman and a man at the same time. He was LGBT. <laughs> That's what we're about to see, Akim. You understand? And that's what really happened. You understand? Like, you understand? This them devil just went back to his roots. You understand? He Good just night. went back to his roots and did what his forefather in this nation used to do, which is killing one another, uh, unaliving one another. Well, you understand? It's, it's like a TikTok, all right? Okay. And so, like, hey, can everybody. we have uh, Officer Yatuza, you understand, live? I'm trying to send the link. If y'all can send him the link, or you might have to jump in and invite. But it, for some reason, it won't let yeah. me invite him up. I'm not. So like that one. Since you're the host, you have to send the invite. Yeah, uh, 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 also, uh, uh, so like I don't want to say Like, uh, if you when you see in the comments, yeah, uh, below the comments, you will see the multi, multi uh, G. Just click on that multi G like this, officer. Yeah. Uh, the budget could get you understand the the request that you want to be live That's with us, all right? Like this, you could promote you understand the the ICPK IT other one. Yeah, let's get into this I article. Understand. So you know, we're gonna see that you know, just like I'll say, Ariar just brought up. This is just you know, oppressor being oppressors. This is just Caucasians being you know, Caucasians. Like there is nothing you know out of the norm this this, this is not something that's you know not normal for caucasians to unalive each other yes especially their own family members right if we get into this article we're going to see how gruesome it was right if i start reading the article it says the teenager who was arrested on friday after three of his family members were stabbed to death in montreal's rosemont neighborhood was charged with three counts of second degree murder on saturday good night hmm. Good night. Good night. Yeah, listen, the, the oppressor is the devil the Bible speaks of, just like you said, and he was a murderer from the beginning, right? Damn right. Like, all he knows how to do is kill, and this is more of a reason why we're not supposed to be like them. For, for some dispute that he had, he decided, I'm going to wake up and murder my whole family. Listen, Good I'm night. glad I'm in the UPK where I am not trying to be like my oppressor. So, so many of us try to be like our oppressor. And listen, this is what the oppressor is about. He's about death, right? right. There is no life in him. So right. Yeah. Damn right. If I keep going to the article, it says, Arthur Galarno, 19, appeared in Montreal courthouse by video conference and was charged with killing Mylène Gingra, 53, Francine Gingra Boucher, 75, and Richard Galarno, 53. Hmm. Good night. So like yeah, one, you know, what it says in the scripture that, you know, we're going to our, you know, I'm just going to paraphrase in Deuteronomy, right? Where we're going to be sold to um, to our enemies that they don't have no compassion for the old nor the young. It's talking about our people. But, you know, we just see that they don't have even compassion for their old. And it's saying he unalived his 75 year old grandmother. Right. And not in the. There is no way to put it where, you know, it doesn't sound bad, but, you know, he stabbed a an elderly woman to death. I was like, good night. Like, you know, how, it's just to show you how, you know, how much of an evil monster, you understand, they are. It's not allowing Officer Yatazar to jump in. Khan, it's not allowing me to invite him either. It's not, I'm not seeing any option at all. I'm not sure hmm. what the issue is. Maybe it might be for four. Um, nah, it should allow us. It's... Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Hold on a second. I'm going to jump off the TikTok. I'm going to try something. Give me one second. Come on. But, but you understand, like, with, with what Officer 
Barack, y'all was saying, like, you understand, we're seeing a lot of these things happening, like, and, and even in the United States, there's, there's always been, like, you understand, like, uh, where you see, like, this, these type of Edomites just on a live, their family members, like, you understand, like, you know, there's a lot of instances, like, you know, I don't even want to name all of them, you understand, not to give them credit, you understand, but you see a lot of instances where, where you see, like, oppressors unaliving their own family members for whatever reason matter of fact they unalive their own people you understand just you understand snatch their own people you understand and unalive them you understand like for whatever reason and this is their character this is you understand what they're known for this is you understand like what they used to do way back in the days even when they came over here in america and the native indian were taking care of them you understand? They were doing the exact the exact same thing amongst each other. You understand? You understand? For whatever reason, you understand? For that money, yeah, they understand? He's about to die. That 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 grandmother is about you understand to be taken away. You understand? And be in another side of life, like you understand? Whatever. You understand? But the children used to fight. For, you understand? With with each other for for that money, for what they left behind. And they, okay. you understand? And whatever reason, you understand? I seen children, you understand, know, even my children that just unalive their own parents just to tell them, them clean your room. Just clean your room, you understand? Know, they unalive their parents. And this, this is what you're about to see more often, especially this society, this empire tell you, you can't even beat up your children. You can't, you know, when I say beat up, you know, what I'm saying, I say, you understand, know, like you just you understand, know, like show your children the right way to be. You understand, know, okay. like you understand, know, it's not like you understand, know beat up in a way, you understand, know you break their noses, you break, you understand, know you break their eye socket and everything, but just reprimand that child, you understand, know like just, you understand, know like show that child the right way to be. And even if you have, you understand, know to use the belt, use the belt, you understand? Know There's a brother I was talking to today that was telling me, well, you know what? We learn how to, you understand, know whoop our children from the oppressor. I was like, are you crazy? Are you insane? Like we we learn. You know, meanwhile, you, the Bible say you understand know exactly. You understand know to educate our children and even don't be scared to use that belt on your your children. So lucky. Okay, there is a you feedback. Understand? Uh, I'm not hearing anything. It's too up on my end. Go on, go. Understand? Um, so officer, officer, so lucky, uh, officer Adia. So lucky, yeah, officer Adia. Officer um, Yatazar. It might be. I'm not sure exactly what the what the problem is. Okay, con, sir, no sweat. I, I'm not sure what the problem is. It might be we need to unfollow each other and then follow each other again, or maybe you just got too many followers and we don't got enough. So I'm not sure. But the water for joining uh, in the chat and leaving comments. We appreciate it, sir. Come, come to what other one? You understand? So kind of the one kind like discipline them, like discipline your children. You understand? And I was talking to a brother today. I came a Levi brother that, that was like, well, the reason why we discipline our children is because of the white man. Is the oppression. Yeah, I was like, are you serious? Barakella knows, knows the brother. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, are you serious? Meanwhile, the oppressor tells us, you know what I'm saying? If we discipline our children, they they, they have the right to call the cops and we lose our children. So that doesn't come from us, man. You understand? We used to discipline our children. Matter of fact, the fact that I'm in the UPK and I could take for myself, take for myself and be in the UPK and be like, you know what? What I was doing is wrong and I got to change my life is because I was disciplined. You understand? That discipline, you understand, brought me in the UPK in, in a type of way. You understand because of what I went through and everything, I should not be like you understand, like a drug drug dealer. You understand, I shouldn't be like a murderer. I shouldn't be exactly like that. That damn Caucasian that just killed my, unalive my family. You understand? So just because of that discipline taught me that as well. So it's not the the oppressor that taught taught us. You understand to discipline our children. It is part of our culture. It is part of common sense. It is part so, of if you love your children as well. So like it. So, like, yeah, I, I was going to say that brother is just a weak brother, right? I yeah. Like, it's such a weak brother to think that if, if your child gets out of line, right, and you have to correct them, you have to use the, the belt. proverbial rod, right, the belt or a hand to spank your child, right, that we got that from the oppressor, 
right? The oppressor wasn't spanking us, right? The oppressor was hanging our sisters from trees and unaliving them by ripping open their stomachs and taking our our infants and using them as gator baits. We we didn't learn to to discipline our children from right. the oppressor. And that brother, he needs to get his mind right because he sounds like someone who's going to get caught up in the world when everything goes bad and he's not going to know what to do, right? Luckily in here, we got brotherhood and we got men above us and people who give us instructions and men we can go to counsel for. That brother needs to go to counsel. He needs some okay. def- He needs some wise UPK counsel in his life. He needs to stop smoking weed. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. That, that like, I said, like, like, I, like, like I said, Austin Vargas knows the brother, so uh, I said I don't have to elaborate. You understand? But it, it was crazy. I, you understand? Know I actually, I'm like, you understand? Know I was talking to the brother earlier. You understand? Know like it was crazy, and man, we were on that <laughs> subject, and I even used that. You understand? Know that that article. You understand? Know that also the brother is bring, talking about or that that situation. I'm like, well, that brother. You understand? Know that that damn it, either my was it right to do this because oh did he need exactly you understand discipline and he told me he needed discipline well you say the discipline come from the edomite meanwhile you understand the edomites are don't have discipline so what are you saying it's confusion out there i can't mean outside of the upk if you're not in the upk you are confused all right so listen we this is one thing you rarely hear right i I can't count how many. T- I don't even think I've ever heard this really. Like, okay, maybe I've heard it, but it's not something that you see regularly where black children don't go off on their parents. Like, we don't try to physically unalive our parents because we have some disagreements. Right. What what black children will do, Hispanic and Native American children will do, they'll go outside in the world and try to get it on their own. God. Right? They'll they'll rather go outside in the world and try to think that they're the adult now and they can live on their own. But it's not in our spirit to unalive our parents, right? Right. That is clearly yeah. something that an oppressor would do because an oppressor has no love. This is this goes another reason to show you why you cannot love an oppressor, right? An oppressor does not love you. An oppressor doesn't even love his own parents. How could it love you? Yeah. Right. Well, I, I I would say um, what's the next story that we have? Unless y'all want to keep going on this topic. What's well, the I mean, next story that y'all? So have? Like I got one. If I may. Come on, no sweat. You understand? I think he should also he should have also been charged with animal cruelty because he just killed three dogs. Good yeah. night, Salakia. <laughs> Salakia. That's basically <laughs> what, what what happened. You understand? Okay. All right, well, what have been charged with the... animal cruelty? <laughs> Listen, Christ did say the, the that woman was a dog. So, like, it. our oppressors, they yeah, are right. beasts of the field. Right? Our oppressors are definitely beasts of the field. If, if y'all might not understand what Barack Allah said, right, where the oppressor should have got charged with animal cruelty because our oppressors act like animals. So, like, I want right? to correct myself. Okay. Because they cannot charge an animal for animal cruelty. <laughs> Good night. Uh, so Our they, they act like beasts, right? But we got I got something else that I wanted to get into. I'm okay. going to Wait. try and play it on TikTok. If 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 somebody could bring me to probably chapter 12, verse verse 10, no question. Okay. Again, just to quote, you understand, Big Levi Priest, 5,000, Blamanos et Dia. You understand? Right, right. You wanted Proverbs 5, verse 10? Uh, Proverbs 12, verse 10. Proverbs 12, verse 10. Come on, I got it for you. A righteous man, this is Proverbs 12, verse 10. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. What? A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. Well, well of his beast, that means that the, the, the animals that can send that he has domesticated. So if I have a, a cat and I know Officer Barakel, somebody told you, they understand, like, well, you should have a domesticated animal. 
So, so like y'all the Nobody one. This is so like outrageous. So, 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 somebody talked to Officer Barkella and myself as well. You wish you wouldn't have domesticated animal in the house. Well, what is this beast then? So, so like y'all the one, if I may. <laughs> Good. Good night. First off, I just want to respond to that comment. No, I you no the, la, the, la, just allow that comment. Leave these these bugs. Yeah, yeah, they, they don't they don't have to. No, they, they are yeah. the police. Yeah, let's, listen. Let's, let's keep on. If if you want to join, go join whatever group you want to join. Right. Yeah. If if you want the truth, come to ISUPK. Damn right. Aside from that, go do what you want. It's a free world. Me and my brothers, we're we're good right where we are. We'll leave it yeah. at that. Yeah. And but to to, right. to 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 respond to what Officer uh, IDR just said, you understand? How are you gonna tell me I cannot have a a pet if you are married to a pet? Nah. So lucky. <laughs> I'm not yeah. gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna leave it like that. You understand? Yeah, yeah, but, but let, that let, brother just needs to stop let, smoking. Yeah, let's go. Let's go for Officer Zabaja. Can you can you re, uh, take that verse again? Car, a righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. All right, so so let me go even further with this, right? Let me go even further. Like this is the kingdom of the this empire belongs to the Edomites, right? So all the animals that you understand that that are out there is really belongs to the Edomites, since you understand this is the empire. So you understand this is the animal. So why animal are extinct? You understand? Why we don't see certain type of animals? Why they go you know, sitting in the jungle and just shoot them? You know, I mean, the last last lion, the last elephant, the last this and the last that, because they are not righteous. Meanwhile, us, what will we do? Do you see black people going hunting and everything like for, for the last lions? Meanwhile, you see the royal royal people, you understand, know, King Philip. You understand, know, you could see King Philip, you understand, know, or whatever his name is, you understand. Know, with with the late, you understand, know, Queen and everything, Queen of England, so-called Queen of England. You understand, know, going in Africa, going, you understand, know, in other land, killing the rarest animal. Meanwhile, it is their kingdom, so it, it is supposed to be their beast. So you understand, know, like even us, like as a people, we will care. Even you understand, know, we would have cows and we eat meat and we eat flesh. But we will take compassion and love, you understand, for what we eat and for the animals that we have. You understand? We will, you understand? I see, I see now, Kim, you understand, like, black people just caring for animals, man, you understand? Meanwhile, they're in distress. Yet those type of animals, we, you understand, we devour you. You right. understand? They will devour you. They will, you understand, like, you understand, live some type of uh, trauma to in your life. You understand? Either is a skunk, either is this, either is that. But you understand? They won't kill it. They won't. You understand? They won't just chop off the head and take that trophy home and be like, you know what? That's it. The trophy of a skunk in my wall. Who does that? The right. devil. You understand? Well, us, we are righteous, and that's why we don't see. You don't see it that with us, man. You understand? And uh, the wicked is the one that will do something that is against righteousness. All right. So when you understand when you have an animal and everything, you will take care of that animal. Just like, let's say you have a plant in your house. You will take care of that plant and everything. It will be like, you understand, not like a as a child, I want to say, but you it will be something like, you understand, you have a responsibility because you you put it in your house. You understand? You say, well, you know, you know what? I'm going to water you. You understand every day. I'm gonna put you in your in the sunlight every day. You understand? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. You understand? So it is same thing for an animal. And and hold on, if it's the same thing for an a plant or an animal, what about a brother or sister? Right. You understand? All right. So like I can. Right now, that that's no sweat because like what you're bringing out is it, again it just goes to show you that like like. A righteous man will care for a beast, and our oppressor doesn't even care for his peoples, right? So if, if a righteous man cares for a beast, our oppressor is not even caring for his family. Again, you can't love your oppressor, yeah. right? And listen, these bug outs, man. Listen, I don't know how y'all do it, Akim. Y'all be having conversations with these brothers, and y'all do it out of love, but... <laughs> 
Listen, I'm trying to work <laughs> on my patience to have to have conversations. Uh, it's a lot out of one. After a while, I just want to cut you, put you in a body bag, send you on your way. It's a lot. Come on, Barack. I have a question, right? So how, why, and how can we love our oppressors so much when they don't even love themselves? Like, are we supposed to provide them the love that they don't have for themselves? I don't understand. So, so like, it's just Christianity. It's just basically brotherly yeah, right. and, and God, 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 yeah. Right, but listen, I, I got something else that I wanted to get into. Let's get it. I know what you're talking about. Let's most, get it. The majority of Okay, so I definitely had something else I wanted to get into. Um, I'm going to play it for for TikTok off my listen, TikTok, y'all are gonna get the audio too. We worked it out, right? And then I'm gonna YouTube, y'all be watching. I'm gonna let this whole thing play out and then we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. All right, so I'm gonna play it. Give me a second. Um the gang stuff, is it spread out or is it just like... Well, yeah. I mean, with, with the Chinese gangs, is it based on a particular neighborhood or was your crew kind of spread out all over the place? Um, the Chinese gangs at that time, we just stuck to the neighborhoods. Like, you know what I mean? So that being Chinatown uh, in Manhattan or like Queens, Flushing, Queens, Elmhurst, Queens, we really didn't like go outside of that, you know what I'm saying? And in Brooklyn, 8th Ave. Um, so Chinese people really you just stuck to their own, like, you know, they didn't really move out and shit. Okay, well, I mean, I'm familiar with Chinatown in New York, and that's, I mean, it's a mixed commercial, residential type of thing. People aren't really, like, sitting on the corner selling drugs in Chinatown. <laughs> that never you know, really happened, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, China, like, like with with the community, you know, the Chinese people was always. You would never really see us selling drugs in the community. You know what I'm saying? If anything, we would get the we would get the drugs, and push it somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't see that, you know. And 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 I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say um it was because well, I wouldn't say most the majority of reason. Of why that was so is, I'm sure a piece of like a good part of it was that we didn't want to give it to our own people. You know what I'm saying? But um, oh, another big part of it was that we knew that when, when we do that in our own neighborhood, it's gonna make us hot. You know what I'm saying? So like you know, the the smarter thing to do is get the drugs and put it somewhere else. So our community isn't hot. So we can have a little more, you know, shelf life and doing whatever we're doing. And we can get more money and we can you know, make ourselves hot. You know what I'm saying? But if we're on the corner selling it, you know, it's hot. You know what I mean? So the police is going to come and that's going to be short-lived. You know what I'm saying? So I guess, you know, Chinese people always, the Chinese gangs always looked at that and always took that into consideration. I mean, that's an interesting point because... When you look at the black and Mexican gangs, they're usually selling in their own communities, or even and even the white gangs, you know, in the trailer parks and, and whatever else, they're usually selling it to their neighbors, sometimes to their own relatives. Yeah. Uh, and it ends up, you're right, it ends up fucking up the community. It ends up destroying the community from within. And yeah, you have a couple of people that become rich and everyone else. Uh... Good night. Salaki, out of one. Kawakan, can you hear me on one? Okay. Yes, I hope everyone heard that right. This, this, uh, this Moabite, right? He said this is China Mac. He's a a Asian rapper, right? Failed rapper from New York <laughs> turned podcaster, right? Who he shot another Asian man over some gang, blah blah blah. Who knows, right? But he's a failed rapper, right? And he's letting you know that Chinese gangs, Asian gangs are racist, right? They don't sell poison to their own community. They sell right. poison in Black, Hispanic, and Native American communities. Damn right. right? 
that that's what you're finding out and this is nothing new listen hollywood has been pushing this since for a very long time i'm going there's a scene in godfather in the first godfather right it's a it's a myth when they say the salakia there's a typing sound in the background i'm not sure what it is right but it's a myth when they say italian mobsters never participated in the drug trade right or that wasn't a part of their code they participated in the drug trade and in the movie godfather they discuss something a lot of mobsters were always discussing how to sell drugs right not sell it in our community but sell it in the black and hispanic community because they view blacks and hispanics as animals right China right black views blacks and hispanics as animals so instead of selling drugs in chinatown or koreatown or wherever they are they would sell drugs to blacks and hispanics right wow. because they said they didn't want it to be hot in their neighborhood meaning they weren't trying to kill their people but it was okay to kill ours so like yeah so um, like i don't find me Yes, sir. We just proved how uh, much of an hypocrite China Mac is. I mean, he just proved it himself, you understand? Because when he was, um, you know, in an interview with captains, you understand, Captain Tazariak and Captain Kataza, I think Kataza right. clearly told him, you understand, you're a guest in hip hop. And he would argue, right. no, because I grew up around black people, you understand? I grew up around them. I have love for them. I show love to the neighborhood, you understand? Uh, I tell people, like, if you know, if there's any Asian businesses in the black community, they should give back to the community, this and that, right? But he just proved how much of a hypocrite he is because he's not going to sell product, you know, poison to his own community, but he's going to sell it to us. Right. You understand? Yeah. He's going to be part of our destruction and then claim to love black people, claim to love Latino people, you understand? But if he really loved our people, you understand in our culture why would he push poison in our community just like the oppressors damn do? right damn right you and barack Bar oh, uh, Adia, uh, did you have something no nah, no nah, go ahead go ahead no barack i was gonna say like like okay barack what you said was so heavy can you repeat what you just said about the love part repeat the love part for me because i don't want to mess it up how you said it because how you said it was perfect right kind of what kind so if i may out of one China Mac was arguing with the captains, you understand, Captain Tazari, Captain Kataza, that, you know, he cannot be a guest in hip hop because he's part of the culture. He grew up around black and Hispanic people. You understand? He has love for the community. He gives back to the community. You understand? He shows love to our people. But if it would have been, you know, if it would have been a fact that he shows love to our people, why is he pushing poison? You understand? Why is he part of the destruction of our people if he really had love for us? You understand? If he really had love for us, he would have been against pushing product, drugs, or poison in our communities. You understand? But he is part of our destruction. Right. Listen, there's a clip, right? Salakia. I'm going to have to find this clip, right? It's it's a clip of Commanding General Yohana talking to some brothers, I think, in either Washington, D.C. or Philly, one of the cities, right, that the UPK is big in. And he basically said, I'm not going to sell you drugs because you're a black man like me. Before we get off this China Mac right. topic, I'm going to find that video and play it. I might need to just leave y'all with the stream for a moment so I uh, can that, that, the that, video. No, sir. So, 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 like, so, that's one of the intro for the, for the, for the it's a, a lot of videos as well. That, you know, some cool videos. Right. I, I got to go find it, right? So I'm going to go find it. But listen, China Mac doesn't love black people. He loves what? Right, okay. I, I like being interactive with our audience, right? So we got an audience on YouTube and we got an audience on TikTok, right? If you Who could tell me what China Mac loves about black people? Right, because China Mac he says he says he got love for black people, but he sells us poison. He knows this poison is killing us. Right, if you're tuning in, we played a video earlier of China Mac, an Asian rapper, basically saying he never sold drugs in his community. They would go to other communities to sell drugs. So we understand that that means he went to black communities and Hispanic communities to right. sell drugs. Right, so. He said he loves black people, or Baraki Allah basically said, if China Mac loves black people, 
why does he sell us drugs, right? So I want to I want to figure out if the audience knows what China Mac loves about black people. All the heathen nations love the same thing about black people, about Hispanic people and Native Americans. Listen, just just type it in in the chat. We got a couple people watching. Type it in the chat and let us know uh, what China Mac loves about black people, right? Because the answer is going to come, priest. So, so like if I, if I may, priest, like in, in our community, we see a lot of cracking, right? Right. How many crackers we see in Chinatown? I right. never seen a cracker in Chinatown in Montreal. I never seen, you know what I'm saying? Whatever Chinatown I went to, you know what I'm saying? I never seen one crackhead. Meanwhile, those Yakuza, those whatever, you understand, know whatever they call, you know what I'm saying? Chuchu Chukun whatever the hmm. name is, you understand? Know they're dealing every every narcotics. Well, Meanwhile, and, there's not one crackhead in their section, man. And Salakad, one, if I may. God. You understand? Something else to bring out is that you always talk, you always hear about, you know, a crackdown in our neighborhoods for all uh, the dope that is being pushed in our neighborhoods, right? Where is the crackdown in Chinatown when China Mac openly said, right. you know, we're, we're going out of our neighborhoods, we're going out of right. our Chinatown to go sell, you know, to East Harlem, Spanish right. Harlem. You understand the Bronx, okay. you understand little Jamaica, whatever the case is. Or, you know, where is the crackdown, you know, in Chinatown for all the fentanyl that Chinese are bringing into the country? Uh -huh. All right. You understand? Right. No one is going right. to talk matter, about it. Matter of fact, priest, what you say it has a lot of power. I don't, I don't want to take it away from what you say. But the thing is, recently we had a class where, you understand, they, they wanted to do the crackdown in Mexico. You right. Understand? They want to do a crackdown in Mexico. Meanwhile, in the United States. You understand? Damn. Yes. Meanwhile, in the United States, you understand, the Chinese man is selling, you understand, narcotics. Is he selling narcotics in the United States? Where's the crackdown in Chinatown? You understand? Why there is no crackdown in Chinatown? What Matter of fact, in Montreal, right? Recently, we have one of the sons of the of the you understand the the late boss of the of the Italian mafia that was shot. You understand? He was shot. He wasn't killed. You say he survived. But we had the one one of the son of the you understand late late you understand mafia boss that was shot down. You understand? Where's the crackdown of the Italian mafia in in Montreal? Yes, I know exactly, you understand, it happens, you understand, some of them went to jail, but they, they are still doing exactly what they used to do. The mafia is still there, you understand, they're still in contact, you understand, with you understand, Italy, you understand, they're still doing the thing, they're still supplying, you understand, narcotics in the ghetto in Montreal, north where I live, you understand, they're still doing these things. Where this, where's the crackdown, you understand, on there for them to stop? You right. will understand something. The crackdown happened because you understand their drugs affected white people. That's what you will understand. Their drugs affected white people, so they had to do a crackdown. Meanwhile, you understand if their drugs affect us as black, Hispanic, and Native Indian, there will never be a crackdown on them. Never. That's why there's no crackdown on the native population. The, you know, so like, so like not the native, but the China man population. And this is what the China man, you understand, could sell exactly, you understand, it's narcotics freely. Because, you understand, there's no crackdown on him. He's not supplying his drug heavily to Caucasian people. It's man, you understand, contributors, you understand, or it's man clients are black is fine and native Indian. that's why they don't give it then right like, no that, that, right. Them right that, on that's one. definitely heavy right they don't give a damn about what what blacks hispanics and native americans are going through i'm still trying to find this video akim if you know um of any tapes where basically commanding general yohana is basically saying um he won't sell you won't let another person sell drugs to a black man because he's a black man. Can you find that? I wanted to play that sometime during class, but I'm having some trouble finding it. So like I, I can't look it up while we're streaming. Yeah, God, no sweat, no sweat. 
you know. But so like you see, when we say the oppressor is the devil, you understand? We're mainly talking about the oppressor of oppressors, but we're still oppressed by other all of the of the other nations. You understand? Right. Whether it's the Ishmaelites, the Arabs, the East Indian, Chinese, you understand? We're being oppressed by all these nations. You understand? And we just prove that no nation, no matter, you know, no matter if they grew up around us, you understand, no matter if you went to school and you had an Asian friend, you had an East Indian friend, whatever the case is, they're all despised so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Indian people. You understand? No matter right. how much love China Mac says he has for our people, you understand, he clearly is a liar and a hypocrite. Because again, if he really had love for our people, he wouldn't be pushing narcotics in our neighborhoods. You understand? But right. just like I'm just gonna paraphrase, just like the Bible says, you understand that. You know, it's going to be to each his own. Every man loveth his like. He's never going to push narcotics into Chinatown because he loves Asians. You understand? He loves Asians too much to poison them. But he doesn't give a right. damn about so-called black and Latinos and Native Indians. You understand? And he will help us destroy each other by providing providing us the drugs that we're going to sell to each other. You understand? Right. China Mac is a goddamn racist. Right? right? You can uh, tie uh, in the uh, video, uh, whatever the case is, he is a racist. Right. You understand? And, he and, hates and if, if I may, uh, as well, right? That is a lesson for every so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Indian. You understand? One thing I love about the Mexican, you understand? I know they're Mexican, you understand? They have the cartel and everything. But recently, we had a class, you understand, where the cartel, they didn't want no fentanyl in the community. They didn't want right. you understand, no, right. that other drug called? Methamphetamine. Metaphetamines, you understand, like uh, PCP, whatever, you understand, and this, and so on, uh, Mali, you understand, like uh, Mali Speed and everything. They don't want that in their community because it destroyed their community. So what about if we are exactly like that? You understand? What, if, what about if we put that same mentality and be like, you know what? We're not going to accept another brother selling drugs to another a brother or sister in our community. And this is what the other nation won't allow. You understand? You, that that them, you understand? That them, uh, yeah, Gran, Granner, you understand? Like that that, that girl that looked like a man there. <laughs> a basketball player. You understand? Brittany she went Griner. to Russia, you understand? With Brittany Griner. <laughs> it's like two other priests. She went over there, you understand? With, no, sir. You understand? With, 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 with uh, oil. You understand? She could smoke, you understand? In the pipe and everything or whatever. She went there exactly with that. And she wasn't there to go sell the drug and everything. But the fact that she was there, you understand, with that, they looked at it, you understand, as, as, as an offense. You understand? Russia looked at it as an offense. Like, you coming there with this drug and what, what's going to happen? When you smoke it, somebody else is going to see you smoke it. Then somebody else, you know what I'm saying, my people are going to smoke it. And they're going to tell other people to smoke it. They're going to show other people to smoke it. We should be the same way about our people, man. You know what I'm saying? We should be the same way about our people. And we we, we ask ourselves, why, why are we always in the bottom? Why are we always, you know what I'm like destroy? Well, because we don't give a damn about each other, man. We don't give a damn if that sister on drug. We don't give a damn if that brother's on drug. We don't give a damn if we're selling you understand, drug to you understand, our own people. We don't give a damn about that. Meanwhile, if we go to another nation and we do that, well, it is chemically chemical warfare. It is chemical warfare, which means, you understand, they allow you understand, to go and wage war against you for what you have done to their people. We don't look at it like that because we're in America. Drug being, you understand, taking us, you understand, in a path where we, you understand, we docile. We just want to have fun. We just want, you understand, with the want the pleasure of this life, and we don't think about the destruction of it on our people and ourselves. But if we start thinking about it, we won't allow another nation to bring drug in our neighborhood. Right. We will sell drug to one another. We will care right. for one another. You understand? We won't. Sell, you understand? There's, there are brothers. You understand? That's selling our cutters to their own mother, to their own sister, to right. their own brothers. You understand? We won't do that if we really just didn't love each other. Meanwhile, we all Christian talking about. You understand? We gotta love each other. Meanwhile, we still selling drugs to one another. That drug dealer will have a cross on his neck. 
just like Rick Ross, just like 50 Cent, just like you understand, all these other rappers just said that talk about drug. That drug dealer we have a cross, not the double double like we have, but a cross on his neck because he's a Christian. And that's what Christianity has taught us not to love one another, not to care for one another, not to you understand, value one another and say, well, you know what? You know what? I'm not going to let drug destroy your life. I will fight against drug. We will fight. Imagine we stand against drug in our own neighborhood. You know what's, what, what will happen? A lot of police, police officers will be arrested. A lot of politicians will be arrested if we st start standing against drug in our neighborhood. You understand? Maybe, maybe Justin Trudeau will be arrested, you understand, for being involved in drug because we know exactly Justin Trudeau, you understand? If you do your research, he's involved in drug, you understand? Even oh, a, a, rap, a, rap, a rapper, you understand, that came out, you understand, on TikTok, you, you could find that. Was saying, well, you know what? Justin Trudeau, you know what? He had parties and everything. I was involved. I was there. And they had, there was drug all over free for everybody. A, a rapper on, in Montreal was saying that on TikTok. You understand? It was crazy, you understand? Know people was like, oh, God damn. And the other people, you understand, know that being in, the, in these parties, be like, well, yes, we know. Drug, you understand? Know Come on, dear, en, en français. Drug, drug à volonté. How you say that in, in, in English, Officer Bergella? It's a lot, like Kyle. One is, um, what did they say again? You know, when it said, um, you know, it's, it's all you can eat, you know, basically, it's oh, all you exactly. can smoke. <laughs> all you can smoke. Good. After night, all you can, eat, all you can, night, smoke, all you can smoke. But there's a brother in Montreal. You understand? There's a brother in Montreal that's you understand? That's a rapper that that was saying on TikTok. Well, you know what? I've been in Justin Trudeau party. I've been with his wife. You understand? And everything. And when you go in, <laughs> these, in their parties, there's drug. You understand? All you could eat. All you could snort. All you could smoke, officers about you. Salaki, so like if I may. So, no, so, so like no stop. Go ahead, Salaki. Real quick, that would not. Salaki, we run, should not run, even be surprised to see, quick. you know, any so-called so, politician. Salaki, uh, uh, let let us as a budget go ahead, because you know, what I'm saying he, he got. Oh, that that was that was so, me speaking. I threw out a throw out of okay. If if I could, if I could for a second, bro. You know, I'm just saying. You know, we should not be. All right, all um, right, all right. Also, also, want to speak. All right. God, I I just wanted to say, like, um, basically, yeah, like. Saw. So, like, so like a priest, you sound low. Can you hear me? Bit. I don't know. We don't even hear you on TikTok, out of one. You sound. You can't low hear me on bit. TikTok at all. Nah, you you gone on TikTok. Good night. What about now? Can y'all hear me on TikTok? Yeah, Kawakai. Nah, you too what? You too what, man? Okay, the water, Akim. Basically, I was gonna say like like okay, listen, that story of someone saying they're going to a Justin Trudeau party and it's a all you can snort. So I can, that is believable. This is the prime minister who to get elected legalized marijuana. Right. Yeah. This is the same prime minister who listen, we brought this out no less than two weeks ago. This prime minister, his government said the P, the province of British Columbia on the west coast of Canada can legally make cocaine, medical yeah. lab cocaine. Right. And they're gonna be testing it in a wide variety of uh different different functions basically they're gonna find out if they could get it commercial ready to sell to other labs right now who knows what they're testing it for or why they even need to make this thing but basically they're they're trying to stop the cartel right yeah. the only way they can stop the cartel's money from from growing is by not giving the cartel any more money and we know our oppressor has a a Salakia, Officer Barakia Allah, can you can you send Officer yeah, I'm, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. Yeah. I'm on it, I don't want No sweat, no sweat. Officer Yaquataza, um, we on StreamYard right now. If you want to join us on StreamYard, you definitely can. To join us on TikTok, you would need a TikTok account that has a thousand yeah. followers, right? But we're on StreamYard. You could definitely join us on StreamYard, priest. Right. So like, yeah, your what is that? Check your check your messenger. I sent you the link to join on the stream yard. Right. Check, your, check your messenger so, chat. So basically what I was saying is our oppressor has such a heavy consumption for nose candy. Right. 
now the Canadian government realizes they don't have to give so-called Mexicans money anymore to get nose candy that they love to consume when they could figure out how to make it themselves. And then Justin Trudeau can have a endless Willy Wonka supply of nose candy. Because Justin Trudeau is Willy Wonka of nose candy. That's why he has provinces like British Columbia with the Willy Wonka Justin Trudeau nose candy plant. Right? Where they're trying to figure out how to make the nose candy. So lock out when if I may. Uh, I just wanted to say this also, right? Well, first off, you know, Justin Trudeau proves how much of a devil he is. You understand? Right. He's a big oppressor. You understand? Second, it's like we shouldn't even be surprised that, you know, it comes out that politicians are, you know, either pushing or consuming the product because, hey, what was his name again? Was it Rob? Was it Doug Ford? One of the Ford brothers, oh, oh, you understand? Oh, the, 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 of Toronto. The one that caught, passed away. Right. He was caught in Toronto on camera just, you know, um doing crack. Good no, I was gonna I was trying to say something different, but yeah, he was you know, he was using he was he was using the rock. Like, the rock, can I give you the breakdown? <laughs> can I give you the breakdown, I mean, Barack? Ima- imagine the mayor doing crack, I can I yeah, nice. get so like I went. Go was, ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. I was just about it. No, Adia, you can finish your statement. Oh, you like finish your statement I, I was going to say, imagine the mayor doing crack, right? Meanwhile, they've been arresting black people for smoking and dealing crack. Right. So, so the, th- the thing I always <laughs> ask myself, the thing I always, I always ask myself is, who, supp- who was supplying that mayor? How come not nobody got arrested? Uh, That's the but, thing. Uh, Canada, Canada, you understand? Canada should act, so like a priest, but Canada should ask itself <laughs> that question. How come and they think that everybody forgot in the UPK we don't forget. You understand? Right, we right. We we still we don't forget. Me. So you understand? So it's who was supplying that mayor crack? Why nobody got uh, arrested? Go ahead, go ahead. I'm, 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 I'm about to give you the breakdown. I'm about to give you the breakdown, Aria. But first, first, we want to give a hand to priest and officer Yaquataza. Priest and officer 50 of Quataza on the Buffalo. Right, right. right. Hey, hey, shalom. Hey, shalom. What's going on? Oh, I bet you know. Hey, Salaki, you know, I did. Uh, I was at the Sabbath service um, in Syracuse. And then after that, I did my own class teaching chariots. That was the topic, sir. Come on, Christ. Christ. Most Christ. 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 Listen, who made that headpiece? That headpiece is balling. Yeah. You, 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 listen, that's that Hebrew drip <laughs> I keep hearing about. Salakia. Water. The water. Um, Salakia, uh, Austin Nakawan from uh, Louisiana. Good night. I'm about to order one of those Nakawans. <laughs> Just <laughs> like it. Well, yeah, that's the lock just now. That is looking mighty priestly, I- God. Mm-hmm. Authentic too. Um, and I got the other one you probably saw from um Officer Shapat from DC. He make official ones too. Yeah, kind of Officer Shapat. He gifted. Those- Listen, UPK got gifted brothers when it comes to the talents. Yeah. A garment making and just many talents that we have. We're gifted. We have a lot of gifts. Like like when you read about when uh the children of Israel were leaving the world were in the wilderness and they had to make the ark and they had to make the garments and the Lord was giving them gifts. Listen, that's exactly what happened in the UPK. As you walk in through these UPK doors, some gift that you didn't even know you had is awakened. Salakia. So and if you already know you had it, it's enheightened. But uh, your quarters are, right? So this is the Rise 1969 show. Um, basically, we're going in right now about China Mac and Chinese gangs selling drugs to Black and Hispanics and Native Americans, right? So as we were talking, the topic came up about how the city of Toronto, my city, had an Edomite mayor who was smoking crack, right? So I'm going to give you the breakdown. So there was this Edomite mayor He was smoking crack, and he was buying crack from Somalian Bloods, right? Mm -hmm. A Somalian blood gang he was buying crack from. 
he in his in his stupor, right? This is what he called it. He said, I would get high and I would be in my stupor. <laughs> he decided listen, you can't make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up. It gets deep. I don't, I don't, listen, I'm gonna give you the full breakdown. Right? So lock yes, sir. God. Hey, and here's the thing though, like I understand, like even like from the beginning though, like from the uh sixties and late seventies when uh Bloods and Crips and Lion King, et cetera, uh, came out though. They uh, we all know like they was trying to like protect each other each other to a certain extent though before like it got uh, corrupted. But um now like when you said Somalian blood gangs though, first and foremost though, we know Somalians is uh Hamites, it's Africans, so how the hell they get blocks? You see like it don't you know, you know how like other nations infiltrate, you know. <laughs> God, God, we laughing because that is a wise right. question. How did they become yeah. blood? Listen, they supposed to be stealing oil and shit. So, I can't. Listen, we can't stop on TikTok right now. Listen, don't blame me. Y'all made a movie about it. Oh, shit. You can't you, you blame know what's me. Funny thing, made though? a whole movie about it and starred Tom Hanks, right? Listen, I, I don't know. What to tell you. I am the captain now. Right. I, right. Now. I remember that. <laughs> Well, listen, Captain Phillips. Captain Phillips. <laughs> right? Uh, listen, I'm right, gonna that was a good movie, though. It, 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 was, it was definitely, yeah. it was definitely a watch. It's yeah, definitely well, a watch. I, I, can't, I can't knock it. Listen, they, they were dealing with Captain Phillips so, rough in that little boat. Hey, hey, so, so, hey, so lock it, sir. So lock it, sir. And basically, what I'm saying is, though, like all these different nations want to swag jack, infiltrate. And copy our style, you know. I say, like I said, the the the, the, the damn Chinese and all the Asians want to copy off the uh, the so called Mexican Isocrite and Puerto Rican brothers. You see what I'm saying? And the the Caucasians and other races and Africans want to be Chris and blush now, though, because I never heard no shit like that, though. Because even as when I was growing up in the nineties, though, I never ever heard no shit about like Chinese and other races like in rap in the first place. As a matter of fact, when I was in grammar school, they hated it. They hated it though. Yeah. I, I don't recall yeah. that. And because of Eminem though, now like, you know, everybody want to love rap and try to copy and infiltrate and, you know, we just like give everything we invented to every damn body though. And that's a fact. Right. I don't give a damn right. who like it, you know. Well, listen, your are There's one thing they can't get, right? And that's the kingdom of the most high. They can't get yeah. What's ours? They cannot get our inheritance, right? They cannot get to come into the school and enjoy the Passover. Listen, your Quatiza, they cannot get any of that Passover wine or Passover lamb. Yeah. They will not get any unleavened bread, Salakia, right? But I'm going I'm to yeah. continue this quick breakdown, right? So the, so the crack smoking mayor, he, he decided to smoke crack. He said in his stupor, he's going to film it. These Dixon Bloods, who are Somalian, <laughs> they filmed him smoking crack. They turned around and said, listen, you got to pay us regularly or we're going to release this video, right? Damn. The mayor said, I'm going to send one of my goons. Listen, the mayor had a goon <laughs> who was selling these Dixon Bloods weed, large pounds of weed, Salakia. You can't make this up. It's straight out of a movie. He sent the goon to the Dixon Bloods so they, he could try to recover the video. The Dixon mm. Bloods, not being smart, because these, these listen, these, these uh, Hamites in my city are not very smart at all. They turned around and released the video while trying yeah. to extort the man. Big investigation happens. They turn around and charge the Dixon Bloods in a raid, right? From the video release, they did a whole wiretap and charged all the Dixon Bloods. Then they turned around and charged the mayor's goon for extorting the Dixon Bloods to get the <laughs> <Damn>. video. <laughs> Listen, Damn. it's not over. They kick the mayor out of office, right? City council turns around and kicks the mayor out of office. The mayor's brother, a year later, tries to run for the same office. He loses only to become their boss's by being the premier of Ontario and cut all their jobs in half. So like, yeah. like, that sounds like an episode yeah. of Power. Wow. And it's not wow. over, Barack. It's, it's not over. <laughs> the same God. man, God. <laughs> Barack, it's not over. <laughs> the God. same man who turned around and said 
the mayor can't be a mayor because he smoked crack. He became the next mayor. But yeah. last month, it was found out that he was sleeping with his assistant. Good sure. night. Good night. <laughs> well, 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 power right here. I didn't see that episode of power out of one. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, come. But you understand, like, where is the, you understand, the, 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 the like, they want to do in Mexico, you understand, just invade Mexico because of that? Where's that in, much, in Canada? Where's that in Canada? It's like, you understand, happen. like, and, and we're going to start talking about that. And you understand, at one point, I can, we're going to be so powerful. We're going to start talk, calling the mayors. We're going to call the, 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 you understand, the officials, you understand, the, you understand, the politician. We don't want this. We don't want this. You understand, how come this is that? And if this has to happen, if the mayor could smoke crack, free everybody, every black, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Indian that, that right. are in jail for crack. If the right. mayor could smoke weed, free every so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Indian that are in jail for smoking weed. You understand? Right. If the mayor, right. you understand, could deal with somebody that's doing drugs, free everybody. You understand? Every so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Indian that are doing exactly the same. Or if not, is it a plantation? Right. Well, you, you know what's interesting, Adias? That's the car, please. It's, what's interesting is is this is exactly what we were bringing up yesterday with what they were talking about Putin, right? Yeah. The ICCC yeah. or the International yeah. Criminal Court wants to charge Putin with war crimes by abducting. They're saying he abducted over 16,000 yeah. uh, Ukrainian children and moved them into Russia, right? Yeah. They want to charge him with war crimes, right? Over 150,000 Native American children were in were abducted from their yeah. homes in Canada and put into residential schools, right? Under the Catholic Church's watch, right? As well as the Canadian government. And there is yeah. no push to arrest anybody associated with the Catholic Church's residential school or right. the Canadian government's residential schools. Matter of right? fact, I know, I know this is, a, you understand, you're talking about our people as well, you understand, but something that happened recently because people might say like, well, you know what, residential school was like far away ago. Well, what about Jeffrey Epstein? What right. about all the politicians that are involved? What about the superstars that, that are involved? How come you understand there's nobody that's getting arrested? You understand? Oh, you take you take uh R. Kelly was the only one. Wait a minute. Wasn't Jay-Z messing with, with Aliyah when she was underage? That's something you could find. Jay-Z was messing with Aliyah when she was underage. How come Jay-Z is not arrested? Huh? Apparently, Jay-Z so is these, the these are the things. You understand? <laughs> you understand? Most I well, it is the go. It must be Baphomet. He must be Baphomet himself, you understand? You understand? For, for those that are, I'm, I'm talking like Freemason language. Uh, Freemason language, like he must be Baphomet himself because Jesus is not arrested. Meanwhile, he was dealing with Ali, Ali, you understand, while she was underage. How many others, you understand, that was dealing with women that were underage? You understand? Oh, you, oh, you care about the children so much. Well, you understand? Everybody that was involved with Jeffrey Epstein should be arrested. You understand? Wasn't there? You understand? When the the royalty that was involved, when the the, the woman was was naming naming him, how come he's not arrested? Why well, they want to send a, you know send something to Putin? Arrest everybody in the United States and everybody in Europe, everybody that's involved. Matter of fact, Akim, let me go even further. There's 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 a Eden right on TikTok. I said officers of uh, Barakella, I send it to you. You know, saying officer Zabaji, you want to understand it because it's in French. That guy is a French, an Arab guy, right? Arab guy was saying how he was involved in that, you understand, stardom and everything. And he was seeing this art, art store, you understand, one of, one of the guys, you understand, like, uh, I forgot his name, like, he, 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 he used to design clothes and everything, right? And he was saying, well, I was in his house and they had children, like, stripped naked and everything, like children like that, that's six years old. 12 years old, stripped naked. They were beating them and everything. And on the on the ground, they were they used to you understand make them suffer and strip, you understand, take their bloods afterwards and drink their blood. You understand? Dude okay. went to court. You could look this up. You understand? Officer Barakala, I send it to you since, since it's in French. And you need this, you understand, for I speak Quebec and I speak in France. You understand? He went to court. Say what he said. 
one one exactly. Nobody came after him. You know what I'm saying? What about these people? How come they're not getting arrested? Says you know what I'm saying if they love children so much. Meanwhile, Putin took children out of the a war zone. That's what I wanted to you know talk about yesterday, you know what I'm saying? But I, I couldn't yesterday. But he took children out of a war zone, put them in the same place, and they're gonna they want to accuse them for that. So he should just leave the children and get bombarded, right? That's what he should have done, right? Meanwhile, you know what? One thing, Ukraine is known for child trafficking. Look this up, Akim. Like you know what I'm saying, I could do. I do my research. You know what I'm saying, I'm everywhere doing my research. You know what I'm saying, not conspiracy. You know what I'm saying, uh, conspiracy theorists. But you could look this up yourself. Look, you know what I'm saying, go, go, go. Use the trails and everything. You know what I'm saying, Ukraine is known for tra child trafficking. And one of the the video that Putin did that they're never gonna play is he was talking about child trafficking that was going on in Ukraine. Nobody want to talk about it. The media is not gonna talk about it, right? But that's that's in record. You understand? Know I have I have the video. You understand? Know I'm not gonna put it out there. You understand? Know yet, but I'm gonna see. You understand know what's going on? You understand? Know but Putin was talking about. You understand? Know our child child trafficking was going on in Ukraine, and you understand? Know they have like bunkers underground, your railroads and everything in Ukraine where they were trying, you know, understand, shipping them kids. You have, there's a lot of kids that, that are missing from I 80, that are missing from you understand, Jamaica, that are missing you understand, from other islands, you understand, South America. These children end up in Ukraine. You understand? Anyway, I can. All right, let's go ahead. So, like, Now, at the same time, you know, just to bring back, you know, how we should not be surprised any politicians, you know, consuming any drugs, whatever the case is, or even manufacturing or selling them. I mean, just like also the budget brought out, right? Canada is trying to manufacture its own, you know, nose candy. And besides the footage of the mayor of Toronto, you know, being a crackhead, there is footage of Joe Biden's son in a stand snorting and smoking crack as well with a prostitute. I, I even want to get in there. <laughs> I didn't even, you know, so, so, Raquel, I didn't even mm -hmm. want to go in there. You understand? Yeah. I didn't even want to go in there. There is footage of the current uh, American president's son in a stand in a hotel room with a prostitute, yeah. and he's consuming crack himself. There's even video that they retrieve from his laptop if you understand. If you go in the dark web and you understand, because most of these things are not released on Google and everything. So like one. You need to clarify, we're not telling nobody to go on the dark web. Yeah, but of course, of course, of course not, of course not. But you understand, it's out there, you understand. There are videos where you see Ch Joe Biden, you understand, like ch child, you understand, son with underage. Children. Good night. You understand? Good night. So, how well, so like it, if I may. You understand? Go ahead, please. Go ahead. I want to go to Right. Me. Like, so, so again, like, we were just uh, showing you how the, the other nations, they do not like us. They look at us as something as beneath us. And this is why they sell drugs in our communities, right? Yeah. So, I had a video. I finally found it. Right before we finish up, we're gonna wrap up with this topic. China Mac is racist. We could definitely see the heathens are racist against us. Asian gangs are racist, and they're selling drugs to black people. Right. So before we wrap up with that topic, I just wanted to show you a clip. I was looking for this clip. Right. This is a clip of Commanding General Yohana. Right. And he's showing you what brotherhood looks like he's showing you what love for black people looks like because china max says he loves black people and listen we don't believe you right you do not love black people i asked a question earlier what does china mac love about black people i was waiting for someone to send me the answer listen y'all should get in class right? right if you're watching this and you're not in class you should get in class because you don't have the answers clearly but this is the answer of what China Mac loves about black people. China Mac loves that he can make money off black people. That's all China Mac loves about black people. 
if he can't make money off of us, he he has, wants nothing to do with us, right? Now I'm gonna play a clip of someone who truly loves black people and the brotherhood right. that he ex, ex, exudes. Salaki, I'm, I'm I'm learning more words right as we go, Salaki. <laughs> but Commander General Ayana, he is listen. If you look up brotherhood. First, you're going to see a picture of Christ, right? And then you're going to see a a a, a side note that says Commanding General Yohanna. Because Commanding General Yohanna is, is the perfect example of brotherhood that we can see in 2023. Right? So with that said, I'm going to play this clip. And then we're going to go into our next topic. Okay, give me a second. Should pop up on the stream yard. All right. And I'm also going to play it for Salaki. So, I got to play it for um, TikTok. So give me a moment. I'm going to play it for TikTok as well. Right. I just got to find timestamp of it. All right, so I'm going to find this timestamp. Brotherhood, right there. That's what brotherhood looks like. China Mac does not love us. He 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 hates uh, us. He sells us yeah. drugs. He loves the money, just like just like every nation loves the money we bring into them. They don't love us. You think them Chinese people, them Asian people love us? They love that we buy chopped chicken wings. Listen, I, I do not like Chinese chopped chicken wings anymore because my rib does a better job at making right, right, <laughs> straight up and down. I, I don't need that. Listen, I don't need that. We we had we had we had a, a a UPK event that lasted. I'm just gonna say it like that, right? If you know, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you and your brother might be sitting in front of a computer in the ISUPK for 12 hours, Salakia. And my rib, she made us some wings, and it was amazing, ah. right? Where she she just makes amazing food. So I really have to look to another nation. I. Listen, I want Greek food. My rib is going to make Greek food, and it's going to be better ah, than Saint what they Christ. Christ. So like, Christ. <laughs> right. So I, I got another. I got another subject. Um, Yaquataza, you are definitely new to the show with us. Um, I, if you can, you got anything else you want to say about China Mac uh, selling black people drugs before we go on to the next uh, topic? Uh, so, 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 go ahead, go ahead, Yaquataza, if you got something to say. Yeah, so like it, though, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, though, like, when, um, even, uh, what Captain Cesario and Captain Katazar was speaking to him, though, like, it's not personal against the, uh, China Mac, though, but at the end of the day, he will always be a second class citizen to <laughs> any black or Hispanic culture, period. Doesn't matter. Right. And, um, yeah, right. you know, yeah, and like yeah. I said, though, like, everything, the videos, that China Mac was saying, though, you, you, you pretty much just told on himself, though. You just expose yourself, though. You like you would sell drugs and do certain crimes to our people and talk about street gang this, prison gang that, whatever that shit is, though. But then when it prefers to his people, he turned around and said, Some I wasn't there, like, um, 
sell any drugs to his people, though, you know? I don't blame him. You shouldn't anyways. Just like us. We shouldn't. We ain't got no business doing that. Destroyed our people, you know? God, most I Christ. Right. All right, all right, all right. So, 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 oh, so like, yeah, if, I, if, I, if, if I may preach, uh, Yaquad, is that you going to the Passover? Damn right, sir. I'm a down, I'm a down beater, yeah, though. Right, uh, Salah. Right, right. <laughs> Most honor Christ. Yeah, Salah. You, 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 you know, you, so, hold on, hold on a second. You know, Officer Yatas are walking over there. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Boots on run. <laughs> Well, Montreal gonna send y'all say we sending y'all say Barkelly and also y'all send Toronto we're sending also <laughs> child one as well. Y'all send them to Passover. Y'all understand eventually y'all send next year if Christ doesn't come back yet. You understand me and officers of Baja will be down there. You understand all Montreal, you understand all of Toronto will be at the Passover next year. But unfortunately for this year, we sending two brothers, you understand, down there, you understand, to copy it out, you understand, represent, you understand, the school out here. But you understand, if I could have walked over there like with officers of Yatazar, I would have been doing that shit. You know what I mean? So like, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. That's, that's funny as hell. Right. All right, so I, I got something new that we're going to play, right? I got the last topic that we're going to go into. Now, listen, I don't know, man. No, what's wrong with these sisters in the world, right? Man. But the topic is, can two alpha people be in a relationship, right? Mm. And listen, they're talking about an alpha man and an alpha woman. These people aren't mm. talking about the alphabet community. Right. Mm-hmm. I know, I know y'all want it to be like, of course, two alpha people can be in a relationship <laughs> because it's the alphabet community. So like, yeah. like but that's not what we're talking about. Hold up, bro. We're going to be bringing in this new topic. I'm going to get the video ready for both TikTok and uh, YouTube. TikTok, y'all let me know how the sound is going and what's going on and what the sound is like, man. We rock right, you, you too, uh, y'all can type you, you too, uh, on TikTok, please. God, you can type your comments in and also tap the screen, like the video. I, I need to see these likes going up. Share the video. I need to see more shares and don't be afraid to comment. Y'all can okay. comment in the stream, right? Let us know what's going on. Let us know how you feel. All comments are welcome. All right, uh, Barack, you had something? Okay, okay. That's two alpha. Can two alphas be in a relationship? Whoever agrees, I mean, damn, so lucky. For YouTube, because I muted myself on TikTok, this sounds gay. <laughs> now, for TikTok, this sounds fishy. <laughs> I, had, I, had to it. I had to do it. I don't want you understand. Good night. Sounds like All y'all right, are going for rainbow trouts. Listen, I'm about to get the video ready, right? TikTok, let me know what the sound is like. I'm about to get these videos ready. Salakia, we gotta work it out real quick. We gotta work it out real quick. We're gonna get these sounds ready. Um, the video is about three minutes long, so bear with us. Even among his, his peers, he stands assertive. Um, somebody that's the term of what an alpha man is. So people are gonna put massage in. It's just natural. I have a question for y'all. What is your definition of an alpha man? Before I get into it, um, I think somebody that's assertive. Um, yo, get into this next topic. Um, uh, <laughs> it's a term alpha male being misconstrued with uh being misogynistic, yes. Very Why much you say that? 100%. Yeah, because I mean, it's just bound to happen because everyone has their own term of what an alpha man is, so people are gonna put misogyny in it. It's just natural. I have a question for y'all. What is your definition of an alpha man before I get into it? Um, I think somebody that's assertive, um, somebody that's a leader. Commands um, respect, attention. Yeah. Um, uh, even among his his peers, he stands out like he's out for it. confident, mm-hmm. confident, right. successful. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Great leadership skills. Yeah, right. I said that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I have another question. Do you think two alphas could be in a relationship? No. No. Why? Know. Why do you think why so? Not? Wait. What? Why? What is that called then? That type of that relationship. That's called a dysfunctional relationship. No, it's called right? the power couple, babes. No, it's not. It is. It's you can look it up. How long have power couples existed? Let's look at Beyonce and Jay-Z. They're two alphas in a relationship. Great how, example. how do we know? Because she's yeah. successful? She's an alpha in her industry. She's mm-hmm. 100% an alpha. You can't deny that she how is. She's That's two alphas that in a relationship. Why can't there be two alphas? automatically an alpha. 
Yeah, and, and that's, that's a that's and a. Just because she's successful in business, don't mean she bring that to a relationship. In a relationship. Exactly. But this but is the thing. If there's it... two alphas in the relationship. There has to be a point where someone is in submission at some point. Exactly. Right. exactly. Like, I'm not, I'm not so saying. I'm not can't saying. Be. They no, can yeah. be, but they, they have can't. to understand their positions at exactly. certain times. They, they have to they have can. that. They can't. <laughs> Talak, y'all the one. Talak, y'all. So I have to say this. Talak, y'all the one. Talak, y'all the one. Talak, y'all the one. That sister uh, asking the question. She doesn't want to hear an answer. She doesn't want an honest answer. She just wants to fight. She wants to be the alpha in the interview. Right. You understand? And I'm going to say this, right? And uh, the definition of an alpha male is a one West man. Yeah. You understand? I'm astonished. I don't know. Oh, sorry, I'm concerned about you. I never said you were. You may have said you are. 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 You You may have said and outside the ISUPK, there is no such thing as an alpha man. God. There is no alpha if, male. In if, if I may, if I may, please, if oh, I may, just, just right quick, right? That sister that's talking to you, understand, that want to be an alpha man, sound just like that brother, you understand, that was going against me and you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> so, to lock you. That sister, she wants to be an alpha female, which there is no such thing. And that brother who was going against us, he is a better he is a better, so like a, a better <laughs> concubine. He's a concubine. He's, you understand? That's what he is. You understand? Outside the ISPK, there is no such thing as an alpha man. Why? Because us, all these men outside the ISPK are either effeminate or they are ready to make um, compromise. You understand? Yeah. As um, what they say outside in the world, they say happy wife, happy life. Yeah. You understand? And just like that sister, I mean, that sister was saying, you know, Beyonce and Jay-Z, a power couple, you know, is two alphas together. What, what, what are you, wait, what are you talking about? A power couple is two alphas together. You understand? Mm -hmm. Jay-Z, he can sleep, you know, with other women besides Beyonce and Beyonce is still going to keep him. But have Beyonce sleep with another man. Do you think Jay-Z is going to keep Beyonce if she sleeps with another man? You understand? Beyonce, she knows how, you know, how to humble herself. How, you know, in her head, she's like, you know what? I, you know, if my man wants another woman, I have to deal with him, you know, but I'm not going to go out there and, you know, play the single lady like I'm advertising, you know, in my songs. That's not, that's not going to, that's just not going to happen. You understand? There is no such thing as an alpha couple. There is no such thing. You understand? When there is an alpha, there is a better. You understand? There is a hierarchy you know, that you need to, uh, you, you, need, you need to go by, you understand? You can't, they, they cannot be two alphas. Just know this, right? From the, from, from the words of a wise man, you understand? A female, if a female wants to be my alpha, just understand this. My alpha is gonna, you know, alpha the, the ish out of your alpha. You're gonna turn into a better, you understand? I'm, I'm just paraphrasing. You understand? <laughs> Ain't no such thing as an alpha female. <laughs> like my gangster is more gangster than you. You understand? Okay. If I if I may appreciate the other one. Go ahead, it's a lot. Go ahead, it's a lot. I don't want to cut you up. All right. I was gonna say you took the words out of my mouth. So like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the words of a white man. But, but if I if I may, yeah, I can. Even in the jungle, like you understand, when you see two alpha lion, you understand, meet up, what what, what happens? They fight with each other. I said two alpha, two alpha lion or two alpha animals, they're not just gonna be like, you, you know what? Okay, you take the lead and I, I just follow or I listen to you. And what you understand, what not? So, if so there's two one. alpha animals, they fight. If I may, other one, right? The, the lion pride is not the best example because, you know, the lion pride could be run by three uh, male lions as their brothers. The best example would be a wolf pack where there's only an alpha wolf. As you know, there okay. is no, like, three male wolves leading the wolf pack. Okay, you come, come. Let, let me get a gorilla, for example. Gorilla, oh, you understand? Come. The alpha gorilla, you understand, is going to be the alpha gorilla. So there, if there's another gorilla that think is, is alpha, you understand, in the clan, Nah, we're gonna fight for you know, stand for the throne. 
Understand? That's right. how it is. We're fighting for the throne. So if in the house you have two halfers, somebody's going to fight for the throne. It's, it's, it's a lucky out of one. It's a lucky, if I may. Right. Uh, what, what both Barack and Allah and yourself, what Adiyar you're saying is Tawab. And what you're saying, Barack and Allah, is definitely Tawab. If I could, I just, because we are an interactive show, I asked someone to, to comment in the comments. And now we got we got a comment, right, from Crypto mm. Dan. He said, there's a reason no great country have two kings or two presidents. Damn right. right. Damn right. Damn right. Damn Give him a hand. Give him a hand. And, and and if I could Salaki, if I could just add on or one up what Dan was saying, right? Dan, we appreciate the convo, right? Crypto Dan, keep commenting, keep we appreciate the views and the likes, right? Christ is an alpha. Christ is not going to like a black man named Christ, he's going to come back and he's going to show people who think they're alphas that they're not alpha. It's, it's not going to be Christ and a bunch of kings on the throne. Christ is king of kings. He's going to be a king with a throne holding the thrones of other kings. Right. Right. Two alphas cannot be in a relationship, yeah. right? And what what this sister is saying, right? Now, if you if you are on YouTube, I'm going I'm to oh, share it one more time on I'm not, not going to. to. But, if but if you're watching, watching the street, right, you, you can see I screenshotted it. it. The way, way the sister, you know what, I'm just going to do it so you can see it. You just got to look at the way the sister is sitting, right? And you can see that she has a masculine spirit. She's wearing, listen, you, sister, you can, you can, Dress up and look pretty. I know there was a style of wear that the sisters wore in the 90s, the hip hop style. It wasn't really mad at feminine, that hip hop style that sisters were. It wasn't feminine, it wasn't a feminine style. And the style that she's wearing, she's wearing like a masculine style of clothes, like the whole bucket hat. She's wearing. It's, you can just, you can see, just that see that this sister has a masculine, has a masculine spirit, spirit, and you can see right. how she's right. sitting. The way she's the way sitting, she's sitting like how a man would sit, with, with his legs open legs and his hands. Good, his nice. Right. That's like how most men sit, right? Especially men in the world. Like, like with Will Smith's wife. You can just see it. She's sitting like Jada. She's sitting like a Gabrielle Union. Good, nice. Right? Hey, hey, listen, you're saying two I have to say this, right? Sisters like these are hyenas. Why am I saying hyenas? Because hyenas have a matriarchal society where the woman is on top. The woman is actually the alpha. You understand? Sisters, nice. sisters like these are hyenas. I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna just leave it at that. They're, they're that's, why, that's why the lions be messing them up. That's why the lions be messing up them hyenas because because a man leads the pack. Listen, he might send the sister. The, uh, so I, I said sister. He's sending the lioness out there to go get the food, but he leading the pack, right? A good example of two alphas trying is Jada and Will. Salaki, uh, Salaki, and Crypto. Will is not an alpha. Will is a Will is a beta beta. Yeah, Will 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 is a hyena. Will. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have something? Now nah, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jada is a so female is hyena it? and Will is a male hyena. Will, Will is the boy. You understand the, the little yeah. dog, you understand? Like, yeah. 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 That, that woman is the is the monster, you understand? Is the is the is the werewolf in, in, in that relationship. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so lucky, sir. So lucky. Can I say something? Before I let that go, right? Adia, Adia, one moment, one moment. Someone has feedback. Feedback, feedback on the stream yard. You might need to turn down the stream yard in your in your background. Right. Am I am I to walk? No, I'm still I'm hearing still it. I'm not I'm sure who sure it is. One, One second. second. I'm gonna figure I'm it out right now. Yeah. 
What about yeah. now? Am I okay, yeah, Barack. It was Barack. It was your stream. Okay, come. All right. Barack, I don't know what's going on. Um, um, before Adi, yeah, before you go, um, Yaquataza, he did wanted to say something before. Come, come, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, Salak, yes, sir. Though, and then the thing is, though, like, you know, I saying none personal against Will Smith, Jada Pinkett, or um, Dwayne Wade, and uh, <laughs> good night, <laughs> uh, Salak, uh, uh, and um, Gabriel Uni, though, you know, what I'm saying Dwayne Wade is a great basketball player, great, who cares? Uh, Will Smith is a great actor. I like a lot of Will Smith movies, though. No doubt, though. But the thing is, though, like, um, it's sad that Jada Pinkett will humiliate Will Smith in public and, and belittle him, though. That. So that just clearly show you that he's, he's a, they, they, they show that there's no alpha in him. And, and just like Gabriel Union would do the same thing, humiliate Dwayne Wade in public. And that just show you, you know what I'm saying? How, how like those two females weaken those brothers' spirits? Nowhere in hell they could be alpha males at all. Hi, hyenas. All right, uh, right. That, that that's definitely uh, heavy. Uh, oh yeah, you had something you wanted to say. Uh, and also, what I want to say is like you understand, like it is something that they've been teaching a woman to be you understand masculine and masculine ever since Willie Lynch. And now you have what the pass the passport bros, you understand? You see black black Af you understand black you understand Judite, you understand African Americans, you understand even the Haitians and everything. What do they do now? They say, well, you know what? We're gonna go to the Philippines, try to get get us a traditional woman because women in in, in America are not traditional. You understand? They're lying. You understand? They they don't consider a man as you understand the breadwinner and deserving. You understand? Like your love and everything, respect. So they go in other. You understand? They try to go go get the Chinese. They try to go get all these other races. But as a black, Hispanic, Native Indian uh, man, you're gonna have you're gonna find out. You understand? You you receive the same thing that you have in America. You understand? Right. It's gonna be the same thing for you. You understand? What you need to do is be be a man, you understand? Be a lion, be a gorilla, you understand? And that woman that you have, don't treat her like a gorilla, of course, don't beat her up and everything, like you understand, like <laughs> a go, gorilla owner. But you understand, show her exactly that you are the leader. At the same right. time, you could show her the best love that you could show to somebody. You could, you understand, like you understand, like those those flowers, you could bring them every day home. You don't even have to go give those flowers every day. You could, you understand, know, send it. Now we have internet, we have messages and everything. You could send flowers every day on the messengers and everything. You don't have, you understand, know, to buy flowers and everything. They're free now. You understand? You could send a poem every day. One thing I, I learned about the Bible I camp is how, you understand, know, how do you understand know, to, to have game? Solomon was, a, was one of the men that had game, you understand, know, right. for life. I said, I remember when I was young, right? When I was young and I was quoting women, you understand? Right. I was reading the Bible since I was young. I I, I used to use, you understand, Solomon, Solomon, you understand, Proverbs, you understand, Kantik, you understand, uh, Kantik, De Kantik, Song of Solomon, just to speak game. And women were like, you understand, the, the little sisters back in the day were like, uh, I never heard that before. <laughs> right? That come from the Bible, you understand? I right. didn't tell him, but that come from the Bible. So do exactly like that, you understand? You could be a king. You could be a gorilla. You could have power. You could be alpha and still show love. You don't have to be better. You don't have to wear pants. You understand? A lot of men, you understand, now they want to wear pink and everything. Well, you know what? I'm in touch with my, my feminine spirit. You just, you're just homosexual, man. You're just happy, you understand, for TikTok. You're just happy. You understand? You're just a happy man, man. You understand? Meanwhile, you could be a man, a gorilla. You understand? You could be strong and alpha and still show that woman love, the best love that she could ever receive. Don't be a hyena. <laughs> right. That, that's really what you're saying. Because that basically is so like Alan, you're breaking up on the stream yard so lucky what about now any any better okay yeah, well, it sounds better now 
All right, so what that lady is basically describing, right? I have another clip, right? And it's basically going to show the hypocrisy of what the hell she's saying, right? Because in one hand, she's making alpha sound like it's a good thing. On the other hand, she's going to totally backtrack. And I'm going to cue this clip up in a second, right? But what, what this lady is talking about is the breakdown of a family house, right? Because uh, science tells you that there is negative and positive. You need both. Right. You have hot, you have cold, you have up, you have down, you have alive, you have unalive, right? If you have an alpha, an alpha's counterpart is a beta, right? Yeah. Two, two, two alphas, okay, we'll, we'll put it like this, right? There's there's something called fighter fish, right? All right. And I know we're using a lot of <laughs> animal kingdom, animal kingdom references, but it's just nature, right? <laughs> I'll give you two examples, right? There's fighter fish. You can't put two fighter fish in the same habitat because they're, you have two alpha fighter fish and they're going to fight. A fighter fish is race, stay, or species stays alive because one of the fish is a beta, meaning the female sometimes is the beta where it's going to have to submit to the alpha fighter fish, which is the male, so they can procreate. Right? right this is the same thing within humans a a woman is going to have to submit to a man if she wants a happy home if you right. want a happy and conducive successful family there's going to be someone who says yes and someone who has to say no there's going to be someone who says may i and someone who gives the act who gives permission or denies permission right, right? You, you you can't have a woman it's like okay I'll give you an example. Christmas is coming up and a man decides, listen, we don't need to buy a Christmas tree. We don't need to buy Christmas lights. We don't need to buy a Christmas turkey. We don't need to buy Christmas presents. In fact, we don't need to celebrate Christmas at all, right? And he explains that to his woman and says, this is going to make our lives longer, right? Because the Lord is going to be happy with us. And it's also going to save us a thousand dollars because it's going to be money that we didn't waste. If, if he's the alpha, he's making that decision because he's the alpha, he's the leader, right? There's leaders and there's followers, right? As a woman who follows a man, she's supposed to say Khan Adaman Khan. Right. Yeah, but right. If she is an alpha. If she is some slur in the world who thinks she is better than her man and she knows better. She's going to fight that man. She's going to fight that man and they're going to be $1,000 short come January 1st when rent is due, right? Because they decided to spend it on Christmas presents, right? She's also, because she's an alpha, she's going to fight that man out of the house. That man is going to totally leave that house. Kind of a con. Uh, right, uh, Salakia. <laughs> I'm checking these comments, Barack. I didn't even know that the, the name of the species of the fish is called beta Salakia. <laughs> Carl, Carl, I mean, Salakia, the one I was gonna bring this up real quick, right? Those fighting fish, right? The male yeah. is always the alpha, even the, you know, understand, and the female has always has to be the better, okay. no pun intended, because we, we know what that species is. But even in the animal kingdom, right. Mm -hmm. In most of the species, the male is always the alpha. You understand? Yeah. When you look at dogs, the male is the leader of the pack. It's the alpha. You're not going to see a pack of dogs, wild dogs, domesticated dogs, where the female is the alpha. You understand? Just like outside you are brought out with the gorillas, you understand? The male is the alpha. Even among the lions, even if you have more than one male lion leading the pride, those males could be two, you understand, with, you know, 10 females. But the females are not going to go against the male to see who is the alpha and who is the better. The male is always the alpha, you understand. That's what, you understand. And sisters always going to sisters always gonna bring out the fact that, well, you know, the lionesses are, you know, are providing whatever the case is. You know, the lionesses are the providers. Like, listen, you understand, a male lion could hunt without no lioness. You understand? But the lionesses need a male lion to be able to protect the pride. 
You understand? A male is always needed. You understand? Females cannot just, right. you know, group themselves together and, you know, be able to prosper without any male. That doesn't happen. Even in nature, a male is needed. You understand? The father figure is always needed. You understand? That's like, you know, that is basically the family structure. You understand? The male is like, he's the one who's, you know, he's like, he is the defender. He is the gate. You understand? He is the sword and the shield of the family. You understand? And that's what females need to understand. They cannot be two alphas. You understand? Because when you look at it, really, two alphas is two males going at it against each other when they butt heads. So what are you are trying to tell me that you're trying to be, it's like Officer Zabaja brought out, you know, that sister, she has a masculine uh, demeanor. You cannot be masculine and expect the man to let you be masculine when he's the one who's supposed to be masculine naturally. You understand? Unless you want... Good night. I was going to say... <sighs> TikTok, hey, hey, well, Barack, you're pissing uh, me uh, off. Let me, let me help you out real quick. Or, Adi, you got something? No, go, go ahead. Go ahead, Prisha. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Barack, what I was going to say, right, is... There are two two male two alphas in the same vicinity never works. Two alphas, I'm gonna break this down to you, right? Some of y'all might not know this, right? Jail is full of alpha males. Right. Full of males who are prospectively alpha males, they just happen to have committed crimes, and due to the oppressor being the devil the Bible speaks of, we got a lot of alpha male, black and Hispanic and Native Americans in jail, right? Here is something that you don't know. Two alpha males cannot exist on the same range, right? Or the same pod or the same house. They're going to fight for dominance, right? And one is about, is going to eventually submit, Right. So if two alpha men are, are going to fight, what is an alpha woman and an alpha man bound to do? They're going to clash. They're going yeah. to fight. They're going to destroy their home. And there's not going to yeah. be any love there because it's constant bickering. It's, it's a man telling his woman duck and she's not listening. And someone's throwing a wrench and now she's getting hit in the head with a wrench because she didn't want to listen <laughs> to an alpha male. She thought she was the alpha. She said, I'm an alpha. I don't have to ping. And he's looking at it like, like I told you, duck. Like, that's a lot of care. That's, that's the analogy I could give to you. Right? The sister, the sister says, Khan, territorial like dogs. Right? We got a sister, S. Rock. Right. She said, alpha are territorial like dogs. Uh-huh. Right? Is is definitely true. Alpha males are territorial. To fight a alpha male, alpha female. First off, there's no such thing as a alpha female. We're gonna yeah. we're just gonna dispel that first, right? There's no such thing as an alpha female. There's a female who thinks she's as bad as a man. You know what I like to do? For all women, okay. I'm, I'm gonna give you some game because I got I got a few shards of game, right? I can I can I can help you out just a little, right? When that sister is telling you she's an alpha male. Go get a fresh jar of pickles and hand it to her and say, because you're an alpha male, <laughs> can you get me one of the pickles out of the jar and just sit back? Just sit back and watch. And wait. It's a lock out of one. to struggle to open that jar. Come on. Alpha females, right? Go and deal with the spiders in the house. Good night. Listen, the spider, the melt. Tell there's a melt behind it. Like, there's a lot of women that does, you understand, like, you understand, that live with nowadays. You understand, they might think they are for females and everything, but just like y'all say, go deal with the mouse, go deal with the spider. These, these women that have muscle, like, more, more, you understand, build up, you understand, more muscle than me or more muscle than us. You understand? Tell them they go deal with that spider. Go deal with the snakes they, in the grass. That's <laughs> gone. They start yelling like you know, they're regular woman. You know, they're with her. Be, they, they're going to talk to you with that rough voice. Hey, what's up, man? You know, Good night. When, <laughs> that, when Good that spider night. come, you know, <laughs> when that mouse come, well, you know what? That's another ball game. Now you have the high pitch voice. You know, now you it's have the like high pitch voice and everything. <laughs> Salakia, Ariar. That pickle jar is undefeated. Listen, I don't care how <laughs> she is. 
that pickle jar is undefeated. Listen, well, well, I right. need this jam open. Open this well, bottle, got, this jar of strawberry jam, Salakia. Come on, but Priest, you have the muscle women nowadays, man. You understand? They, they go to the gym and everything, man. <laughs> that, that, that's that that's no sweat out of one. That's no sweat because, you know, let those muscles deal with a mouse God, or man, a roach. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Or a that's spider. God, that's what I'm Good saying. Good night. Salakia, 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 a centipede. Yeah, so, like, I'm not even gonna yeah. gonna go with a centipede, dog. Huh? <laughs> Listen, I know the sister across the street. She's afraid of butterflies. Good, Good oh, night. Man. So, not the butterfly. Yeah, I gotta understand. A lot, of, <laughs> a lot of women go to to the gym right nowadays. You understand? They go to the gym and they built and they you understand they strong. They have strong hands. Yeah, they have that thing. The calluses in their hands. You understand? They have the calluses well, in their hands. Uh, they go grab that jar. <laughs> la la that's la la to wa. Get nice. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. You understand? Good. That's there, not what we want. There's a secret. <laughs> Go ahead. Shalak, if I may. That's 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 not what we want. But you understand? Know there, there's a lot of women that that's right. what they do right nowadays. They go to the gym, they get strong, and they take your know, they're just like a man. You understand? That's why they make videos, you understand, know, even in the gym, you lift the weights and everything, you understand? Know, so 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 on and so on. But you understand, know, when that spider come and everything, you understand, know, they, they're gonna greet you, you understand? Know, in the gym, they're gonna greet you with that. Hey, what's up, boy? What's up? What's going on, man? Good night. <laughs> you understand? Know, that now that item up with the dumb group. You understand? Know, but when that spider come. When that young said that centipede, when that young said that mouse come, well, that's that's another voice. You know, you'd be like, what, what the hell, man? What happened to you, man? <laughs> you know what, what happened to your voice? Yeah, uh, come. Cool. <laughs> you understand? Know so that that's 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 proof. You understand know that you have a role to you know understand in this life, just like men have a role. You have a role, like I'm in my slavery, right? Adi, are you on mute on TikTok? Yeah, come, come, no, okay, come. I'm to I'm to right now. Yeah, you're too up. Okay, Carl. I was talking to a sister, you know, saying my slavery, and then she was like, Well, whatever is good for the man is good for the woman. We could you understand know, that we could do the same thing and everything. But hmm? well, you know what they did? You know what they did at my slavery? They made her do the same work that the man was doing. And she was Good saying, night. saying, she well, you know what? Having. She was nah, she wasn't it's having it. She was like, This is not the job of a woman. This is not the, the, the job of a man. You understand? Well, wait a minute. Man should tell me, you understand, good like night. you could do what a man could do and what, what is good for a man is good for you. Well, this right. job is not for a woman. They should think about women. Well, you know what? Shut the F up. Shut the F up and do what your man say and follow your man. Salaki, I don't want. Instead of picking up weights to prove that you could lift as much as a man, you know, or more. Listen, you know what you can lift up? Lift up a plate, some slices <laughs> of bread, you understand, some lettuce, some turkey slices, beef, lamb, whatever, you know, you understand, some condiments, and lift up that and make me a sandwich. <laughs> I mean, you understand? Lift up the broom. And the dustpan, oh, understand? Lift up those clothes, put them in the washer and the in the in the, in the washer, then the dryer. Then, <laughs> understand? Lift up that. Don't start lifting up weight and lift up your voice. You understand? Because even if I don't lift up my voice, I'm still gonna sound louder and more masculine than you will ever be. God. So I don't see like oh, how God. you know, like why would you want to compete with us? I don't I don't understand. You want to compete with us, but then. You're gonna complain about those men acting like women competing against you in the sports. <laughs> right. Like, mm -hmm. how does that even make sense? Right, right. You understand? Like, listen, Salakia, humble I mean. yourself before we humble you. So Salakia, yeah, sir. Can I say this? I want to put this out though. And here's the thing though. When I when I well, like before I came into the truth, right? I was in uh college uh ecc and bus state right i graduated from both though and then like sometimes when i speak though i know i got a deep voice though but sometimes like my voice be so deep and intimidated though like some some of the female professors or female students told me to like kind of like my tone of voice kind of like can they act can i like say it in a, in a better tone because like it scares them <laughs> it scares them so that's that tell you something <laughs> 
<laughs> See, you no sound too done. rough. It's scary stuff. <laughs> no, I, don't play, I don't play games. We, we, we don't play games. One, one of us, Ice UK, don't play games, but we conduct ourselves in a professional yeah. manner. Yeah, quarters are low. Yeah, quarters are man. It sound too loud. Yeah, I'm too loud already. They, they, they yeah. <laughs> I told you, my, my voice is intimidating. <laughs> but once again, yeah, don't yeah, like... Quartizan, if I could. If I could, Quartizan. They they were not afraid of your baritone voice. They they were they were afraid of you, right? <laughs> they were, yeah. you know, they like an yeah. alpha male with a deep voice. <laughs> right. <laughs> you done? That's what they were doing, I. <laughs> Hey, we, we come from the streets, though, but we know how to conduct yeah, ourselves yeah, because yeah. of Commander Johnny Hanna. Right. Yeah, we right. the, we the, and so like it, we the, we the real priests and prophets of the eyes should be uh, of the Lord, according, according to the Lord. We the real priests and prophets of the eyes should be okay, according to the Lord. Shut up. Uh, right. So, so like, and, and another thing, though, and another thing, though, God. we don't give a damn how much money a sister makes. If she makes a couple hundred thousand dollars, most high in Christ, though, but at the end of the day, Get in your place and get in order. We don't give a damn about none of that. Hey, so, so, so we, 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 we fight. We fight in the front lines. Damn we put our right. life in line, not you. We, we so love like you fight me, right? Just like your quarter just said, you know, we don't give a damn if you make more money than me because those six figures ain't going to open that pickle chart. Those six yeah. figures ain't going to get rid of the mouses and the roaches in the house. You understand? I mean, hey, Salakia. So Listen. If I could, Akim, right? We are definitely over the time. I got one last thing that I want to play before we wrap it up, right? There is a right. secret to, to the pickle jar joke, but I'm going to save it for off air, right? I'm going to let y'all know the joke after and why these ladies, no matter how much they, they open or lift up weights, right? They're not going to be able to open the pickle jar. And just go watch the tape of that Edomite woman. She was at the gym squatting thinking she's going to gain muscles. And when that rack was on her shoulders and she squatted too deep, she still needed an oh, alpha God. male to help her with that rack, right? But I'm going to play a video right quick because we are definitely over the time. I appreciate everyone watching, right? Bubba Kasha, please so lucky, tap the one. screen. Hold, hold your point for a second. Come on, come on. Tap the screen. Share the video, right, on all the platforms so this truth can go out. This is the most entertaining podcast in Canada. No video cast or podcast or stream on in Canada is better than this. And you should be watching. Share, share, share to water. Brock, you got something? Come on, come. Because those alpha females want to be alpha because they want to be equal to the males or whatever the case is. Well, stop expecting us from to open doors for you. Car doors, hold the doors. You understand whatever the case is stop expecting anything from a man if you want to be equal you understand start doing it for yourselves right good night listen all you sisters just get in the upk that's that's what you damn need right to do, right yeah. if you're an alpha woman get in the upk we'll fix you <laughs> stop being trash stop trying to be a hyena right all right i'm gonna play this tape right quick right this is a little clip because this is basically we're wrapping up and I want to show you the contradiction in what this woman is on. So let me get it right, Baba Kasha. Let me get right with you in a moment. Right, uh, Salakia. Got to fix this up. Kawakai, just like Officer Baja said, you know, fix up. That's what you got to do. You understand? Ain't no such thing as an alpha female. Ain't no such thing as a. It's like a, you're playing it right now on TikTok. It doesn't. I don't hear it on uh, the stream yard. Are you mad? Are you mad? No, okay, it's not go. what I said though. You so just what, put words in my I mouth. I just look, made a little smirk, and then you mad. Ask what, you. For what, <laughs> what are you, Wonder Woman? Oh, for woman? Mouth, I I Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Woman. Okay. <laughs> I general because we. So like what is breaking up on the in uh, on the stream yard? Alpha, alpha woman. <laughs> what are you? you? I'm I'm woman. Woman. Alpha woman. This new age woman. You're muted on the stream yard. Yeah, I just asked you. Listen, alpha woman. 
Wonder Woman. Don't Alpha put Woman. <laughs> In our stream yard. Hey, Salak, Salak, you one. The sister, uh, Sandra Ross, said it's very choppy on the stream yard. Even I hear it is breaking up. It's la Okay, one second. Let me see. And real quick, shout out my brethren, Ayara Ban Ban Yamian, in the TikTok chat. You understand? I'm not worried, concerned about you. <laughs> I never... right. right. Okay, I'm going to play it one more time. Let me know how, how it is. Kawakan. You, I want to hear it. What's you, funny? You, you, I just you, feel you, like you, you haven't know. had a guest like this before. And you're just astonished. I don't, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not worried. Concerned Sounds about. I didn't say you were. I, are you, is that what I are you No. Is that what I said? The words of my. Okay, it's choppy again. I want. Listen, they're talking. Alpha, <laughs> alpha woman. <laughs> what are you? Okay. <laughs> Good night. It was choppy again. Kyle, it was choppy okay. again. I, I, I gotta get. I gotta get this off. One second. The okay, alpha I woman took over the network. I just no, made a little smirk, and then you mad. I just asked you listen, what you're listen, they're talking. Alpha, <laughs> alpha woman. <laughs> what are you, Wonder Woman? Yeah, alpha woman. woman. Alpha woman. 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 Alpha woman. Okay. <laughs> All right. Did Did y'all hear what she said? Right. This brother, he was talking to her, and she's getting emotional. Right. And this is the one we said she has a masculine spirit on her. Right. She. Mm. She. He said, "Why are you mad, alpha woman?" And she was offended. She said, don't put words in my mouth. I never said I'm an alpha woman. This is the sister that's been leading the alpha woman argument. The whole the whole argument, the whole clip, the whole tape, right? Okay, this is the daily daily wrap-up crew, right? It's a podcast that I watch. Um, I took a piece of their – it's for educational purposes, right? We, we're using a piece of their clip, right? This woman, she's been leading the – the whole argument about alpha women and how two alphas could be in a in a relationship. And when the brother said, you're being aggressive, alpha woman, she was offended. She said, don't call me an alpha woman. Barack, you question what is going on? Are you all right? It's a lot of one. Woman. She said, I'm not a hyena. I'm a submissive lioness. Yeah. But 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 one thing we gotta understand, like a lot of a lot of women that goes on these podcasts, they are saying that make music, you know, saying what like like Beyonce, like all the single ladies. Meanwhile, she she's married, right? Like, like just like you understand, like a Ciara the that city was saying, you know, exactly. The you know, city girls, you know, you know, yeah, good you know, night. Single ladies, you understand? Know, say single, I don't need a man. Most of the the one. Don't, don't forget. Man. Um, what's her name? Cardi B talking about I don't cook, I don't clean, but I still have a ring. Offset, offset, have it on camera, you know, matter cooking fact, and cleaning. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let me let me get this to y'all. What the other girl name? You understand? That's with the uh, the guy Blue. Um, Christian, Christian Rock. Rock. Christian Rock. The other day, Blue showed exactly. You understand? All the the laundry on the floor. She wasn't doing the laundry. You know what she did? Anybody, you know, you know what I'm If that's woman, she got up and did it. She, she does she a lot. Right. You know what I'm saying? She did. Yeah. She got up and did it. Even though you understand know that 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 dude exposed her, like, look at how dirty she is. You understand? Know what I'm With a dirty laundry on the floor, she not she not cleaning. She not you know what I'm saying? You end up doing it. You understand? Know the laundry. She came back on and did the laundry, man. Because she right. knows, you understand, she has to be submissive. She knows if she wants to keep that man, she loves that man, she has to play the role of a woman. Meanwhile, they teach you to play the role of a man. And what happens in your relationship? Well, you know what? I don't need no man. We're still single with them cat. It's, it's a lot, Calvin. Just, just, just to add on what you were saying, you know, with Christian Rock and Blueface, they're always trying to advertise Christian Rock on being, you know, doing what the hell she wants to do whatever the case is, not witnessing, like, if it wasn't for Blueface posting that, yeah, she still did the laundry regardless, you understand? It would advertise Christian Rock as being, you know, an alpha with another alpha. Or, you know, Cardi B being an alpha with another alpha. By the end of the day, Cardi B still cooks and clean. 
like you know, it, like you know, she 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 she's lying, just like all the rappers lying about you, just like Young Jeezy lying about you know selling dime pieces. She's lying about you know um, not cooking and cleaning and still having a ring. The Alpha woman for now, you understand? Just like Cardi B, you understand? There's a video of her. She don't cook. She says I don't cook and then I don't clean. Meanwhile, there's a video of her, you understand, sweeping the room and everything. Right. Because they know they have to be better. They know they have to just be women to keep that man if they really love that man. They know they have to be a certain way. But you know what? You understand? Just like you understand, sex sells. You understand what they what they talk about sells. That's what. So like the other one. You understand? Real quick, other one, right? Even Cardi B, you know, being a Simeonite sister, a Dominican sister, she said, that's not how we're raised in DR. Understand? We're raised to be submissive women in, in, in Dominican Republic. We're not raised to be no so-called alpha women. You understand? So, you know, Cardi B herself, like, you know, she, she knows she's just making that type of music for the money. She even admitted herself, like, she doesn't even like the music she does, but she has to do it for money. By the end of the day, she knows she has to be submissive. And that's how she was raised in the first place as a Dominican woman. Dominican women are submissive. They're not made, you know, to be alpha women. Salakia. Salakia, you're on mute on StreamYard, out of one. Uh, uh, no, yeah, I, right. I want to say something too, as well. I agree. Come on. Come on. Come on, because I'm going to give it to you right now. Right? Give me one moment. The music that Cardi B raps, Offset writes. Right. Yeah. Most of these women, the what you're hearing is the hypocrisy of what is being taught to our women. They're saying these things on the internet because it's gonna generate followers, not because right. they believe it. So this yeah. clip that she just said in two seconds she said she doesn't believe it when the brother yeah. said okay alpha woman you're what are you right. super woman she said don't put words in my mouth i never said i'm an alpha woman she don't believe in right. alpha woman or she would have stood on it in the upk yeah. we stand on it our sisters right. stand on what they believe in they they yeah. call, they call our sisters pitneys and the sisters turn around and say listen i got a man I got a husband and he loves me and they stand strong on it. You caught us on. Oh, uh, Salak, yes, sir. And um, here's some heavy Dutch I said earlier, though. A submissive female lioness, which is submissive to a male lion, can be a alpha female hyena. And I just show you, like, if, if a female um, lion that's submissive and can beat a, a female hyena in a one-on-one -on -one fight, though, that's your show, you say. Get what I'm saying, sir? Con. Con, that's been really heavy, right? Right. A, a female submissive lion, uh, lioness could beat a, a, um, a female loudmouth hyena. In a one-on-one -on -one battle, right? Because usually a lioness could beat a hyena in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Right. You see what I'm saying? But she, but a female right. lioness knows her place right. when it comes to the alpha male lion. She knows her place, right? It's a lot of other ones. That's right. that's so crazy. If I could, if I could, time. what you're saying, what you're saying is, a woman in her femininity is always going to be a alpha woman at everything. Keeping a man and keeping right. a relationship, she mostly Good night. has them hands too. Right. Mostly on his sister and her femininity, she got right. them hands. And if she doesn't have them hands, a roughneck brother that right. will destroy your whole world for messing with his prized possession for what he claims is his for what he loves, right? So, with that said, I'm going to oh, Barack, you had something you want to add? So, I got one. You did I, I just did what you just did what I did earlier? You understand? You you took the words out of my mouth. I, didn't want, I was gonna say the exact same thing, but just to add on that, you know, listen when it comes, you know, a lioness, a submissive woman, you understand, will always beat the hell out of a hyena, a so-called alpha female, you understand? And right, if she can't, right. I mean the man is always there to put that so-called alpha female in place. You understand? Yeah. Because when the lioness cannot handle the hyenas, the, it takes one lion to deal with four or five hyenas. Yeah. 
Shalom. Right. I saw come. All right. So with that said, we're going to bring an end to the rise 1969. China Mac is racist and alpha. Salaki had one real quick. Come. One more thing, and it's then tune in tomorrow to La Pura Neta every Monday night at 9 p.m. Pacific time. You understand? Tune in tomorrow to La Pura Neta podcast every Monday night, 9 p.m. Pacific time. So like and, one. and not, not to not to forget also, you understand, we also have in French, the Nouveau Testament is for the Israelites, you understand, the 5 p.m. at 6 p.m. The New Testament is for the Israelites from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. There's a ministry that we do, you understand, like this, we could show you that the New Testament is only for the new, you understand, for the 12 tribe of Israel, so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian, you understand? Khan, no sweat. So once again, this is ISUPK Canada. The Rise 1969 will be uh, back again. Um, Salakia, listen, we might not even be back next Sunday. What's going on next Sunday? Isn't uh, we'll be back next Sunday. Yeah, I don't want. No, no. Ne ne next Sunday might be. Uh, it's a Sunday yeah, after. Yeah, that. We, yeah, yeah, we talk, yeah, it's a Sunday after that. We two up. We two up next Sunday. Sunday after that, we you understand we got Passover Sunday after that on Friday on Saturday. God. But next Sunday we to wab. Which, next Sunday, which will be the 26th, will be to wab. Don't forget that the Passover is uh, you understand on the first of April. You understand, and that's in North Carolina, rally North Carolina. If you could make it, make it there. It is a Shalom Israel. And what I mean Israel. Shalom Israel. And when I mean Israel, I'm talking about the black, Hispanic, and Native Indians. The Lord's 54th annual Passover is going down again this year, sundown, April. You understand? Shalom Israel. And when I mean Israel, I'm talking about the black, Hispanic, and Native Indians. The Lord's 54th annual Passover is going down again this year, sundown, April 1st at 500 South Salisbury Street in Raleigh, North Carolina at the...